Uh, I'm like half asleep. This is going to be interesting as I fix my microphone because it always wrestles with me. I'll never win the battle, ever. Alright. So. Today, we are back with more Corpse Party. Isn't that lovely? Also, we're starting to stream about like... What is this? 15 minutes earlier than usual? I'm planning to possibly maybe go longer tonight. If the gods allow it. If the planets don't align, uh, they fucking fuck me over again, like they always do. Currently, I am sitting down in my chair with a fucking pillow on my lap holding a keyboard. Because there's no controller support for this old-ass game. Why not? You just do some fucking... You just put some... You know, you just use directional pad or something. Make my life easy. Okay, so... Where we last left off on Corpse Party... We, um, well, I think, I think a total of, like, maybe four people died. There was the girl who went kersplat against the wall. There was also, also the dude who got stabbed. A girl who was running away from someone, and then we saw the dude with the glasses fucking take pictures of her dead body like the creep he is. And then the other girl who's, like, Blair witching herself in the corner for some reason. And then you add that with the character from the first from the first chapter who supposedly quote unquote hung herself even though I'm pretty sure she was moited. Uh so our death toll right now is about 5. Things seem fucked. Apparently we're being set on fire right now. The other guy got clonked in the head. I don't know where the hell he's at. He's hanging out in the room with the boogeyman from like Silent Hill Downpour. Dude's walking around with a hammer. Um, and we also unlocked another extra chapter. Now, I want to do that, because that seems interesting. What also seems interesting is that, for some reason, I placed this microphone in such a stupid place that it's hard for me to even see the goddamn screen. Alright, new game, I guess. Are we going to have to watch an intro sequence? I'm hearing some spooky... Okay. Oh! Oh, are we playing as Morshigi? Okay. Damn. Watch your language, Morshigi. How dare you? Why are you running, little Yuka? Because you're a creep. You're evil. Could it be you caught me while I was snapping photos? Yeah, because that's not weird. <laughs> Looks like the chase is afoot. Why are you excited about this? Hey, dude, such a fucking creep. <laughs> Come on. Catch up to the girl and you're like, why are you running from me? As you stare at her with murderous intent in your eyes like the fucking... What's going on here? Might she be in here, perhaps? Maybe. Hello? Yuka. -chan. Yuka? The room doesn't exactly lit let itself to hiding in the... Uh, doesn't exactly lend itself to hiding in the current state, I suppose. You suppose? I mean, you're not just wearing glasses for a reason. You have to be smart. I mean, I wear glasses. I like to think I'm smart. I'm wearing them right now. What the hell? Uh, are you alright? Sorry about that. Don't you say sorry. You're a murderer too. Uh, no worries. Someone from another school. I'm totally fine. I should apologize as well. I wasn't looking where I was going. I see. You're from a different school. My name is Kazami. I'm a student at Byakudan Senior High. Uh, Sakutoro uh, Morishigi. Did I even say that right? Sakutoro Morishigi is fuck. Uh, Japanese names get me all tongue twisted. From Kizaragi Academy. I'm grateful for the chance to meet another living being. 
I hope your phone wasn't broken in the fall. Let's have a look. That's quite all right. <laughs> Don't look at my dead pictures. I'm into some freaky shit. Damn, the photos of you were open and everything. Did he see the corpse shot? If he did, then there's no way he'll want anything to do with me anymore. Don't just look at other people's phones without permission. God damn it. Now if you'll excuse me. Hey. You responsible for that? Are they about to like have like a... You know... Pun not intended. Are they about to have a corpse party? Fucking sitting here going like, you like killing people too? So do I. Nice work, guy. Come again? He said, <laughs> he said, bitch, say what now? I had a feeling we might be cut from the same cloth. Oh, you fucking freak. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. I appreciate it if you just please leave me alone. This guy. <laughs> At least I don't have to do the laugh. Let's meet again sometime, eh? Sometime real soon. Okay. Corpse party. Blood covered. Wait, what? True ending achieved? Congratulations. Wait, what? That was it? Oh. The first extra scene, we had a whole, like, playable thing going on. Talk to spirits and shit. This time, we just... Oh my god, why is that so loud? <laughs> when they play that part of the song, it's so loud. This time, we fucking... We just, we just had a little bit of an encounter. Nothing too crazy. Alright, well... We finished chapter 3. I'm assuming the stars are different endings. So... I I guess we got ending... Well, the first star is probably the canonical ending to it, right? And then the other ones are like the other endings, I assume. Because chapter 3, I got an ending where the sorrow of the dead filled me and I just became a lobotomized human being. Let's continue with our main story, shall we? We have to do everything in our power to make sure that girl pissed in that bucket. View the opening for chapter four? Sure, why not? I see no problems. No man of... Mmm... Did not expect this. <laughs> I can wash it myself, you know. God, am I gonna get in trouble? <laughs> am I gonna get in trouble by Twitch? <laughs> You're hiding under your hands there, little man. There are no secrets in this bathroom. I, I, need, I need an adult. I don't... I don't like this. <laughs> what are you doing? I... Mm? I didn't... I didn't- I- I did not sign up for this. Excuse me? Why you gotta be like that? Well listen, Twitch didn't say that this game was banned, so... You know, if I get in trouble, it's their fault. really think so. You're such a sweetie. Don't call me a sweetie. I didn't... I didn't mean it like that. You're really grown up, you. Always thinking about your big sis feelings. Why, why did it, like, freeze for a second? But you're still young, you know? Too young to act like such a grown up. You should stop worrying about me and just keep being a kid. the fuck you crying for? <laughs> Aw, you're crying. See? You really are. You really are still a kid. Want some of mom? What? 
Nah, nah, we're not, we're not doing this. You, you're such a good kid. Do you even, <laughs> don't ever change, okay? Hope you stay like this forever. This is really late getting home, huh? And she said dad had a surprise for us, too. So she helped me get it. What? I didn't even get to read it. <laughs> I wonder how much longer she'll be. She's trapped in a school. Am I trapped in it, too, now? Are we having a typhoon or something? Such weird weather. Are you fucking kidding me? My man's at home. How is he getting affected by this? My man's at home. Playing in a bathtub. Oh my god, this is really loud. I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking lower that. That's really loud. It's still kinda loud, to be honest. Fuck is this game so goddamn loud? What the hell? All right, maybe that's fine. <laughs> it's a nice intro sequence. I like it. And that's when she broke her leg. For like the third time. Now we're following some type of murderous madman. It's really it's some epic ass music for fucking <laughs> for RPG Maker game. I like it though, but I still love her with all my heart. And now I shall fly with dragons in the land apart. What is it, Mom? I'm running late. This is your first day at Kizragi. Make sure you say your goodbyes and have a lot of fun with your friends, okay? I will. I'm so sorry about this. All because your father got transferred. It's okay. I'll be fine. I wish your father would object more strongly. But your father is just a fucking spineless bitch. It seems like all Japanese men are. And since you didn't object either, I swear that man doesn't doesn't give his family any consideration. All he thinks about is work. Good old salary man. Well, I've gotta run. Bye. See you later, Mom. I have to go get haunted by ghosts. I just want my mom and dad to get along. Well, there's nothing you can do about that, child. Sadly. Oh! Okay. Where am I? Is this Suzumomo? This is Suzumomo, right? Why am I by myself? And why am I crying? She... Bro, you there? Mishue? Shinos uh, Shinozaki. I was just in a classroom with everybody, taking down the festival decorations. God, where even is this? Where? What? No, 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 no. Calm down, you're hyperventilating, child. Stop it. Stop it, Mayu. Don't, don't succumb to panic. Take a deep breath and try to and try to think of charm or something to get you through this. That's it. Shinozaki's charm, the one we all did, so we'd be friends forever. Wait, it's gone. It's gone. I can't find it anywhere. Damn, she's she's loud as shit in my ear. I'm gonna lower my headphones for that. <laughs> my Sachiko Ever After papers, uh, paper scrap. 
It's gone. Is it because I didn't put it away before the earthquake? I couldn't bear to. But I had it in my hand. I know I did. I mean, somebody yoinked that shit. This sucks. What happened after that? My stomach. In bad shape, too. Damn. What's with everybody gonna... Gotta take a piss and shit... In this whole entire series? Every fucking instance, every chapter, someone's just like, Man, I'm about to shit myself. And you're like, come on, guys. Get it together. That doesn't seem good. Somehow I feel like those two are going to be the death of me. Just call it a hunch. What are they? They went in that room. Maybe I should have a look. Maybe you shouldn't. But, you know, as we find out, you definitely did. Now oh, my head. Where am I? Ow. Life sucks. I'm in the main building. Wake from a bad dream and find myself in, in another. Damn it. So, last time we saw Satoshi over here, apparently he had to get back to, um... <clears throat> get back to his sister before he fucking started to blow up or something. What? Oh, was that? Was this always here? I think it was actually. Save point? Why is it all the fuck the way over here? Alright, Satoshi. You can do it. I believe in you. If I don't start running into fucking walls and shit. Someone seems to have vomit and lost control of their bowels here. Okay. That, that doesn't sound good. Wait, can I not go this way at all? Oh, okay, why the fuck he turn around by himself? Well... What do you mean, this way? Who the hell's saying that? Please, take care of Naomi. She's she's on the verge of snapping. Who's there? Who's speaking to me? Who's that talking to me? I could swear, that sounded like... Sounded like her dead best friend, probably. So, last time I heard of Naomi, I think she was at like a stairwell or something? Oh. There she is. Are you okay? Is everything Daijobu? Uh, you just, you just, you just thanos away, huh? What the hell? Isn't that Naomi's cell phone? Okay. Answer the phone. Sure, why not? That's not spooky in any way or anything. Alright, here we go with this shit again. How about you go help yourself? How about that? Naomi, are you there? You sound, you sound very troubled, ma'am. I'm your mom, damn it. Please, God, don't let anything ever happen to her. Hello? <laughs> I like his scream. I don't know why. I found it so funny. What the hell? This place needs to cut the crap already. I can't just leave it, though. I'll take it with me. Acquire Naomi's cell phone. Or Naomi, however the hell you want to pronounce her name. 
Is that her throw up on the ground? Can't step on it. Um, why the fuck did I go upstairs? Let me do something real quick, actually. I want to... Because it's definitely throwing me off. I'm gonna head back in the infirmary. And save the game. And then I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just turn off the voices. Because it's really throwing me off. When I'm trying to read the shit. Alright, so what, what button does it do? What button are they gonna tell me to use here? Is it escape? Ah, oh. I've actually never pressed this button before. They don't tell me the control scheme of this game. Quit? Yeah, let's do that real quick. Alright, let's just do that. Not that I don't like the voices. I love them. They're great. But they were in... Actually, let me see. Is it possible to change the... Voices enabled? Okay, so it's only in Japanese. I assume it's a Japanese game. It's basically a re-release of a Japanese game. Uh, chapter 4, continue. There we go. Alright. Back to business. Time to go save our sister from not being murdered. That would be nice. That would be nice if we could do that. So, apparently, what's going on now is fucking... I'm assuming that... I guess we might might have just had like a premonition of Naomi possibly dying if we don't save her ass in time or something like that. Where the fuck... What the hell does this say? Okay, boys, girls. So, if we're... Well, it was... What? Huh? What the hell? I didn't even get to read it, it just... The fuck was that noise? I didn't even get to read the thing, it just went by itself. So am I gonna see her hanging body in here? I certainly was surprised, mm-hmm. Naomi, you in here? So, Psycho, did you hear? What is it? What is it? Kishinima bumped into Satoshi, turning around earlier, until he touched his crotch. What? Seriously? <laughs> I like it. I like it. You... When I saw it happen, though, I wanted to smack Kishinima up inside his head. Oh dear, Naomi. Do I detect a hint of jealousy? Maybe not. All I know is, right afterwards, the two of them got into a huge fist fight. <laughs> That's priceless. I wish I could have seen it. She's just talking to herself. She's losing her fucking mind. I don't think you'd be so keen on it if you were there. It was it was a pretty it wasn't a pretty sight. I don't know. I have a feeling I would have enjoyed it anyways. Boys are such idiots. Cute though. Moshida in particular, right, Naomi? Is someone in there? Don't go quiet on me now. You're professing your love. The door is shut and locked. There's no indication that anyone's inside. Open this fucking door. I know you're in there. Stop lying to me. Okay, I'm out of here. Uh! Is that the grudge? I hear rope. Hello? You sense a presence behind the stall door. Uh, hmm? Uh, uh. Kick the door in? <laughs> just walk away. It's alright. I'm just go. Open up this door, damn it. Are you dying in here? Dumbass, what the hell you think you're doing? Ah, uh, what do I do? Find an object to stand on, try to hold her up. Ah, oh, shit. I'll be back, damn it. 
Where's the bucket when you need it? Is there anything I can use? Aw, oh, shit. Boys bathroom? Anything in here? Nope. Nuh uh? Ah, shit. She's gonna die. It's gonna be all my fault. Go. What are you being still for? I'll be back. I'll find a fucking bucket or something. She's in real danger. I know she's in real danger. Fucking last time we tried to hold her up. Oh, the, the music's gone now. She's dead now. There's no way she's not dead. You dead in here? Yep. There were... There were two? No way. Uh-uh. I'm not accepting it. <laughs> I'm not accepting it. It ain't happening. Nope. Can't be. Jesus. A good friend who seemed smiling and laughing with me in the classroom only a few hours earlier was now dead, dangling limp from- dangling limply- limply? Limply? Uh, the mere fact that this has actually occurred was more frightening to me than any ghost. That's an ending, right? I didn't save her in time? When I finally came back to my senses, I found myself running, as if my life depended on it. I think I just wanted to get out of there, to get away from her body. I really think I just wanted to pretend like it never happened. It's all a dream. It can't be real. But my compromised mental, uh, by my, but my compromised mental state couldn't hold me back. Ah, oh, damn it! Why is it auto? What the hell? I wasn't doing this last time. Hold up. Suspend, vic suspend. What do you mean? Spin game return tile. Oh, like quick save victims. Oh. Okay, how do I go back? Tools, cell phone, mini DV tape. Oh yeah. Okay, first things first. I'm gonna do that again. <laughs> Cause I don't I don't want that to happen. Cause I really feel like I could have saved there. Second of all, do I have fucking auto innate like auto uh, scroll going on here? View text only, sound effects, background music. Volume. Aspect ratio. Filtering. Circle sync. No, it's... No, it's just... It's just auto going by itself. That's... That sucks. Okay, well... Well, let's do... Let's do that again. Let's not get her killed this time. That would be great and lovely. We can save her. I know we can. <laughs> it's just that I didn't want to. I didn't want to try and lift her up myself because last time we tried to do that with um. Last time we tried to save uh, who, who are we playing as? Were we playing as Seiko or Naomi? I don't remember. Last time we tried to save her friend or whatever. Fucking, she couldn't lift her up, and it said it was like strangling her more. Okay. This time, I'm gonna try and just hold her up. I highly doubt that's gonna work, but... Okay. My question here is, if she was in there, talking already, why isn't there anything in there to hold her up with? Okay. What do I do? Try to hold her up. I need to do something to loosen the rope around her neck. Hoist her up. Wait. Hoist her up on shoulders. Push her against the wall. Sure, I think that should help. Hoist her up on shoulders. 
The fu wait, what? Oh, on my shoulders. Okay, yeah, no, that that's a better idea. <laughs> Instead of putting her on the wall, I might strangle her more. I can get that shit off your neck. You gotta stay with me. Come on, Naomi. I'm going to loosen the rope. Reach behind the un. Reach behind. Stand on bucket at feet. Oh, if I slip on that bucket, her neck is gonna snap. Reach behind to unfasten. Ah, uh, damn it! I think this is a safer option. I can't see what I'm doing. Am I tightening it? I'll still support Naomi on my shoulders with her upper body, <laughs> her upper body drooping between the back wall of the bathroom and his head. So she reached behind him and fiddled with the knots on the base of the noose. Somehow or another, he managed to loosen the rope's grip. Against all odds, it seems that Naomi would live. Until what? Something happened? Naomi. Hey, you alright? Come on, breathe. You good? I totally got you murdered last time. I didn't mean for that to happen. I just, you know... I still don't- I still find it weird how you have nothing to stand on in here. Like, how- How did that work? S Satoshi. Yeah, it's me. You alright? You really- you really had me scared there for a minute. What's wrong? You in pain? Dumbass. Get here sooner next time. I mean, I'm sorry, I was in a different time zone. I was in a different time space. Uh, what? I'm sorry. What's wrong with me? What am I doing? I wasn't like you. Eh. That wasn't like you. There's no need to apologize, he's freaking the fuck out. There's no need. Huh? No need to apologize. Um, is your neck okay? My neck? What was I doing anyways? I fell down the stairs and then... When I came to, you were here. You don't remember anything. I guess not, after I fell. I hear a snap in my leg and I figured I broke it. But it turned out it was just the splint that, that Seiko used to my... Uh, the splint that Seiko used on my sprained ankle earlier. Shino, uh, Shinohara. I think I heard her voice just a moment ago. Any idea where she went? Uh, she's super dead, ma'am. Hmm? Oh, that's impossible. I heard her voice. She spoke to me just a few minutes ago. Seiko. Let's get her down. I feel bad leaving her up like that. We had a fight just before we parted ways. Why would you part ways? Why would you do that? That sounds pretty stupid. I was the one in the wrong, but I was too stubborn to admit it. And the next time I saw her, Seiko was already dead. It was because of me. She did it over me. Because I said such horrible things to her. She I love how she's like, it's because of me, even though we just we just established that she was hit like hanging and she doesn't know what the hell happened. So obviously she was attacked. I can't even apologize anymore. Naomi, it's alright. It's not your fault. You do realize that you also tried to hang yourself, right? Exactly! <laughs> I love how nonchalant he is about it. He's like, he's like, no, oh, it's okay. It's not your fault. By the way, you know, you, you tried to kill yourself too. I, I did? That's not possible. But there is a stinging pain around my entire neck. Did I really? So you don't remember? I'm sure it was the same for Shinohara. I don't think she knew that she was uh, what she was doing. 
No matter how upset she was, she would never. She wasn't the type to give up on anything, much less killing herself over it. And you're right. She wouldn't do that. Probably not, anyway. <laughs> what, you doubt her now? She's like, I guess not, now that you put it that way. Actually, there's the spirit who came and talked to me. They're all about the same age as us. You said that everyone, uh, everyone who's been touched by the curse of the school will have their minds taken over and go crazy. Their mind taken over? Curse or no curse? I don't get the feeling that anyone trapped in here for long enough would go insane. Clearly, we need to get out of this school as soon as we possibly can. The longer we're here, the more danger we're in. If even Naomi and Shinohara, two of the strongest people I know, can wind up like this, then any one of us could be next. Myself included. We better make sure nobody's left by themselves in here anymore. Oh, now you're... Oh, now you're fucking a genius, and you're just like, eh, maybe we shouldn't split up in the spooky mansion. Maybe we shouldn't do that. <laughs> it sounds like we need to hurry up and find the others, and get out of here. Yeah. That brings up something else, though. That girl. Oh, what the hell's going on back there? I'm sorry, give me a moment. I'll be right back. I have to check on something. Okay, we are back. I have returneth, for I am the chosen one. Now, apparently, let me fix my microphone first. Actually, let me let me mute it so, I, so you guys don't hear me fixing it.
Okay. We are back, and I have returned. <laughs> I said that already. Uh, d apparently... Apparently the child is awake now, so... If there's any late-night baby crying in the background, I apologize. <laughs> uh, now what the hell were we doing? Yeah, that brings up something else, though. That girl's spirit also said that the school was its own version of closed space. And that Seiko and I were the only living beings present. So how did you get here, Satoshi? Now that you mention it, there is a different feeling in the air now than there was before. Such concern for your friends, and all the impulses that go with it, springing the heart into action is truly a noble sentiment. Now go. Go to the one who occupies your thoughts. Though you probably won't make it in time. Come to think of it, I was also approached by a spirit of a high school girl. Shortly afterwards, I lost consciousness and woke up not far from here. I wonder who she was. I'm not sure, but it sounds like you somehow made the leap from the closed space to another. Closed space. The first ghost we saw said that if two people were in different spaces, it would be nearly impossible for them to meet. You okay, Naomi? It's nothing. No, don't say that. We're in a spooky haunted school. Come on, man. I think I heard Yuka's voice on the second floor earlier. You did? The two of us got separated when I lost consciousness. She can't be by herself in a place like this. She'll never make it. Last I saw her, she was heading out onto the walkway between the two wings. Come on, Naomi, this way. Okay. Shinohara, I'm sorry. I wish I could take you with us, but it doesn't seem like that's possible anymore. So fucking resquiesque and pache. Please forgive me. Man, she's super dead. That's a that's a dead girl. Ah, come on. Are you okay? The damage to her neck and throat. Might have been worse than I assumed. I might have cut off oxygen to her brain or something. I might have cut off oxygen. It might have cut off oxygen. Sorry, I suddenly got really dizzy and tripped over my own feet. You've just been nothing but... Honestly, you've just kind of been useless this whole entire endeavor. Yomi. Looks like she lost consciousness. Now I gotta... Uh, now you're literally fucking dead weight. I need, to make her, I need to make her somewhere to rest. Wasn't there a nurse office or something around here? I'm gonna leave her in the nurse office by herself while she's unconscious, because that's a smart idea. Her breathing seems normal. I guess she's okay. I need to go find Yuka. Naomi, you stay here and rest up. I know it's dangerous for either of us to be by ourselves. But that goes for my little sister, too. I can't just ignore her. I'll be right back real soon, I swear. Oh, yeah. You're, she's totally gonna be super dead when I come back. Or we're probably gonna get split up. Again. I'll enter another time dimension vortex. Can't, can't interact with her while she's lit. Kiss her on the forehead goodnight. Tell her to rest up. I keep fucking walking on this, like... Damn it. Why is that thing there just to piss me off? Alright. Gotta go save my sister from the murderer. I just hit my fucking desk. Let's see. The skeletal remains sprawled across the ground. The walkway just, uh, was just at the bottom of these stairs to the right. What the fuck? What the hell is going on out there? I'm sorry, I'll be I'll be right back again.
Okay, oh god, that that is loud in my ear. My ear holes. Alright. We're back. Hopefully, there will be no more distractions. But, I promise nothing. So what the hell is this? Alright, this just looks out of place for no reason. Also, this hallway is gone. It's not here. What? Why is there a wall here? There was a whole other building. What the hell's going on? Yeah, I'm not I'm not screaming her name. I don't feel like doing that. Why must you torment me? So <laughs> Why must <laughs> Why must you torment me so? Aw, oh, come on, man. I, I know you I know you're sad about your sister, but quit feeling sorry for yourself. Get, get your shit together. The sign said elementary school students couldn't couldn't buy them without a parent's permission. But they sold me a hamster anyways, and it was only uh, 540 yen. Uh, didn't I tell you, their lives aren't worth that much. What? Ah, uh, nothing. So, what are you going to do with it? Look how cute he is. You want to take care of him? Eh, you're kidding, right? That smelly thing? Uh, so what then? Something really special. Wait till you'll see. It's like nothing else. Let's end a life. The very moment of death. Come on, give it here. What? This box cutter should do the trick. What are you, stupid? Why would you do that? Watch closely now. Yuya, what do you think you're doing? It's is Kazami's sister. No, nothing. Don't you nothing me, you little asshole. You got a knife and an animal in your hands. Yeah, but I didn't do anything yet. <laughs> yet. So I'm not wrong. Are you for real? You realize that no one likes a smartass, right? You better cool that sass mouth of you or you'll grow up to be even more of a good for nothing. God damn it, it's going so fast. Huh, Kazami. Give him here. I'll take care of the little guy. This guy's a fucking psychopath. I swear, I don't know how he can put up with you. Just shut the fuck up already. Why did I have to be the youngest anyways? If I had a little brother of my own, I'd love the shit out of him. I'm sure as hell... Wouldn't be like my goddamn holier than thou sister or my fucking. Oh wow, I'm not even saying all that. That's. Damn. Even if I could read it in time, I wouldn't say that. If I had a little sister. Wait, what? Fucking game, stop going so fast before I can read it all. What do you mean if you had a little sister? You okay? What's the matter, Yuka? They're all full. Full? Hmm? I mean, like... Oh! What the hell? Who did this? And who did it without me? Or did they do it themselves? Oh my fucking god. You kidding me? This guy's gonna have, like, a fucking... A field day with this shit, because he likes dead bodies for some reason. Every time you try to open it, it just slams into the corpse and bounces closely. Uh, closed. Closely? It's quite a stench. Alright, guy, keep it in your fucking pants. Oh my god. A great many lives ended in this room. This guy's fucking. This guy's fucking nuts. I have no idea what the hell's wrong with this guy. The fuck was that? You over here having a fucking fit? What are you gonna do? You gonna try it? No. Poor little Yuka. With all those bodies in there, you'll never be able to relieve yourself. What a fucking creep! 
Well then, shall we be off? My dear little sister. <laughs> What the hell? Sure is cold. Hey, Ayumi, why the hell you run off by yourself? Where did Miss Shishido go and Kishinuma go anyways? Don't leave me by myself. I'm scared, you know? Don't leave me by myself, says the one who ran off like a dumbass. Maybe I should try going back to room 1A. Yeah, because that's safe. If I stay in this other school building for too long, my head's really going to start pounding. What the hell is going on here? Giggle. Who's laughing? Who's that? Show yourself. Hmm. Nope. That's a that's a hell no right there. You just get up and you walk the other way. That's what you do. No more. Red dress. Her photo was in the article, so I guess she's one of the victims. Guess I'll chase her down. Okay. Hey, it's a good spirit. A friendly ghost. Whether you're facing a flyer on the wall or just standing in the middle of a room, if you think there's something nearby, press an examine key. Never give up. Never surrender. All right. Oh! That's a fresh body. That is, uh, that is not good. Let's not go that way. Let's go, let's go to the closest place that'll give me a save point. That's a fresh body, too. The hell do you mean examine these things? I think they're gonna fucking either pop to life or make me go crazy. Congratulations on your arrival. Our most heartfelt blessings we offer to thee. We'll be anxiously awaiting your death, and once everyone's dead, that's when we'll all be able to meet again. What the fuck? And then the conquest begins. Who's clapping? Stop it. Stop it. I thought I saw something by the corner of my eye. Uh, okay. Of course it's locked. I mean, I didn't, I didn't assume anything different would happen. When you die in this accursed place, you experience the pain and suffering you felt at the moment of your death or all eternity. Your soul will never be released from this misery. That sounds terrible. Aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, man. I feel bad for, uh, for Seiko now. That means she's permanently in torment. Stop laughing at me. I don't like the laughing. There's an old crumpled piece of paper next to the body. Well, you may guess this is as far as you go. Exhaustion has set in, so it looks like it's the end of the road. My classmate, Tomoe, uh, yeah, that's how you say that, right? Tomoe climbed the fence around the outer, uh, out, blah, 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 blah. I can't read. <laughs> climbed the fence around the outdoor walkway and slipped into the woods outside the school. It's been three days now and she still hasn't come back. All the while I've been stuck here getting chased around by the ghost of a girl with nothing above her jawline. And I've and I've not only twisted my ankle, but also got glass cuts all over my wrist. I'm so in no condition to keep running. I keep hearing the snip, snip, snip sound of scissors everywhere I go. I can't tell if it's real or if it's just ringing in my ears. I wish I'd just die already, get it over with, so I can finally rest. Maybe I can have my head cut off at the jaw like that. And then, oh my god, and then it happened? Oh. Oh. I can't be reading these notes. I want to read the notes, but I, I shouldn't be. Alright, what the hell are you gonna say? It hurts, it hurts so much. Even in death, it still hurts, now and always. Oh, well, you didn't say anything... bad. This seems... like trouble. Falling cabin is blocking your path. If only I had someone super strong to lift it up. Like an 11th grader. Then they'll be able to help me. Okay, what the hell's going on here? Uh... Hello, 
music. Okay. <laughs> Custodian closet, the door is locked. Yeah, it's always locked. I'm telling you, there's a murderer in there. That's the killer's room. He's gonna he's gonna stab me when I'm not looking. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna be bad. I'm gonna end up like this girl over here. Lose my mind, both metaphorically and literally. Okay. So over here, was there any doorway? Oh, there's an upstairs. I'm not gonna look at the dead bodies. Oh, there we go. Maybe I can go look at the dead bodies now. Maybe I'll go do that. Let's see. It's the body of a middle schooler. Whoever it is, it seems to have only just died mere hours, minutes, or even moments ago. Okay. Nothing too crazy. As long as they're not, like, make me feel the despair of their death. Stop laughing at me, I don't like it. Or this seems, have only just died mere hours and minutes ago. Okay. Just get the clarification of that. Did I check down here? Oh yeah, I did, okay. You would think that I would remember the layout of the school by now, but the thing that's really messing me up is all the debris around me. For some reason, I just... I just can't... keep it all together. Okay. This is 1A, right? There's a note here. Guess I'll read the note. There's a crumpled up note on the floor. There's one thing I've learned from all of this. The children are victims too. They're not at fault here. They're not the ones we should hate. Their murderer is the one who created this cycle of resentment and cruelty. Their murderer is our true enemy. That sounds reasonable. But I mean like... Come on, spirits, be gone. <laughs> Stop making me suffer for your bullshit. Oh, that's open. That doesn't seem safe. Mm-hmm. This is a this is a hell nah room. There's a sheet of haphazardly Wow, there's a sheet of haphazardly torn paper on the wall. It reads as follows. Idiots. There's no getting into heaven from here. Oh fuck, really? I'm so glad we can find each other before we die. So what, they killed themselves? We'll set off on the journey together, holding hands forevermore. There's nothing to be scared as long as we have each other. We know there's no meaning in our lives because we are fortunate enough to find our soulmates to find one another amongst all the fish in the sea. To our mothers and fathers, take heart. We die happy and want it for nothing. And when we finally pass over to the other side, our hunger pains will be gone. We'll fly up to heaven and be joyous forevermore. Our only regret is the pain our deaths will cause you. But one day, we'll meet again up in the golden realm of the Everstar. Of the, of the Everstar? Where the fuck did I get that from? The Everstar. The Everstar. <laughs> of Ever After. Damn. Kotaru and Nayuki. Damn, guys. Didn't you listen to the ghost? Once you die, you relive your death over and over and over. Why would you do that? The lever's stuck. It won't budge. This does seem to be a space for it. Go down one more notch. But the mechanism is locked. There's a tiny, peculiarly shaped key at the base. Guess we should go find a key. I see nothing wrong with that logic. Maybe it's upstairs. Okay, due to the recent kidnappings, I think, yeah, so that one hasn't changed, it seems. Uh, hello? Ow. What's wrong with you? My hands landed squarely in the middle of the sea of broken glass from falling light, what? From a fallen light fixture. Fixture, fixture, can't say the word. The skin between the index finger and thumb of, of her, all in her right hand was cut wide open. Why the fuck did you trip anyways? Oh, it's bleeding pretty badly. I hope the handkerchief can stop it. Just found out I'm anemic yesterday, too. Great timing, huh? Oh, now you're gonna get super cold. Starting to get dizzy now. Not good. I need to sit down or something. 
Hey, why'd you fall? Ugh, let me sit down or something. Can I actually sit down? Can I have the option to just sit and chill? There's a chair here. Can I just be like, man, I'll just sit in this room for a while. I guess not. Hmm. I'll check this room out. Wait, I'm in the same building, yes? If I'm in the same building, then that means the teacher would be over here, right? Wouldn't the teacher be? No, no, this is a different room. This is definitely a different room. She would be like further up. The door seems asphyxiated to the wall like a model. Okay. I think she's, she's either upstairs or she's further down the hall. Yeah, she would be in this room. There's an earthquake there. So we got separated from her. Good to know she's not dead, apparently. Uh, what the hell? The step fell? Um... Okay. Well, not going that way. What about over here? Maybe I can check the, um... No, not this room. I meant the other room. Maybe I can check the dresser there. It's not like you to go and be rescued after all. We already tried everything we could get out. We exhausted every possibility. We might live together a few days, maybe even a week or two, if you thought it out. Uh, if you tough it out. But can you stand to live that long with nothing to eat? Nothing to drink? No change of clothes? Dying is just a whole lot easier. So come on, join us. We're all waiting for you. It might be fun. It might even be fun. There are so many ways to die. Just imagine the possibilities. But don't... What the fuck am I reading? But don't, Terry. We... We're waiting, after all, waiting to welcome you. Shut up. She's like, come on, just just, die. just a little bit, just a little bit of death. Just a little bit. Shelf is crammed full of very old, uh, very old, thoroughly yellow books. Thoroughly? Yellow books with, with usual tiles. Okay, wait, what? One book stick further than the others? The Circumventing the Ancient World. Read it. Sure, why not? There's no, there's, uh, God, okay. The cardinal directions are to be laid flat upon the clock face with additional divisions, uh, divisions, yeah, divisions placed amongst them to mimic fully timed 12 notches, wait, them to mimic fully timed 12 notches, that doesn't, what? Beginning with the rat affixed at due north, the 12 signs of the Chinese zodiac shall be labeled clockwise around this time, time piece, compass, rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, ram, monkey, rooster, dog, pig, and back to rat. For ease of rem uh, da -da -ba -da -da. for ease of remembrance, it's best to equate each direction with bold uh, with both the zodiac sign and its hour to the clock. North, then it's both the rat and twelve. East is the rabbit, and east by southeast is the dragon. This is the basis of circumventing with the ancient world. Okay, <laughs> cool. I'll save my game because I I'm gonna assume that my character has retained set knowledge. Uh, breaking news here, killer kidnap ends in murder. That sounds, that sounds lovely. Uh, did I, did I read this already? Like, multiple times? For the past month, numerous children, investigators, uh-huh. Found with them. Yeah, okay, so I definitely read this multiple times. The page is torn beyond this point. I didn't step away from that, she did. The door seems asphyxiated. Yeah, I definitely read that multiple times by now. Okay. Uh, let's see. So can't go that way, can't go upstairs. Guess it's back downstairs for me. Seems like the only possible solution. My fucking... My nose itches like a bitch! Alright, 
So dead body over here. It's a dead guy. Some over here is a ghost. There's a bad dude up there. Over here, I get laughed at. Like I'm a fucking joke. I mean, I laugh at myself too. Can't get past this. And then... Bad spirit. Don't trust the spirit. Over here. It's a locked door. Is this open now? It's locked. There's erratic noise coming from inside. Okay. Yeah, no, nothing over here. So where the fuck am I supposed to go? I, I guess I'll try running back to the other building, because... I mean, I'll, I'll check downstairs. Well, not downstairs, but the entrance. Because that's the only other place I haven't checked right now. Well, I did check it earlier, but there was nothing. A whole lot of nothing. That's a hole. That's a hole in the ground. Okay, nothing over there. Nothing on the desk. And nothing at the entranceway. Okay. Well, time to see if I can check that other building. Uh... Oh, wait a minute. There's a, there's a set of stairs here. I didn't do this. What the hell's going on in here? Uh-huh. Oh yeah, this is where she died. Where Susan Momo got... her splatted. There's a piece of paper in here. A doll. Uh... Well, what's my candle doing here? I'm sure I left it outside in the hallway. Did some, someone move it? Okay. Now that I think about it, she did leave it outside. Am I gonna be attacked? I wanna pick up that doll, but I feel like that doll is gonna get me killed. This torn piece of newspaper on the ground. Half an article. Just go ahead, read it. The light and dark sides of Heavenly Host Elementary uh, Principal Teka. Oh, fuck. Takamine Yanganori? Yangi Nori? Yangi Hori? Fuck. Forget it. Ground was broken in Tenjin. Tenjin. Yeah. In Tenjin Municipal Heavenly Host Elementary School building in 1952. It quickly became a source of pride for the town, as no elementary school had stood within Tenjin's borders at all prior to its construction. Primary schoolers have previously been commuti uh, fuck. commuting to neighborhood towns for class, so for them in particular, Heavenly Host truly was godsend. The convert, uh, the convert, fuck, damn it. <laughs> the coveted, coveted, convert, uh, why am I, why am I illiterate tonight? <laughs> the position of the principal for the new learning insti uh, institution was awarded to a man named, his name, I'm not fucking gonna even try. The principal quickly became popular amongst the locals for his charismatic personality, his worth ethic, and his firm but fair school po policies. Registration and attendance scored with beyond the school. Scored. Yeah, sword. Whatever the fuck. Uh, well beyond the school's capacity. Necessit- uh, Necessit- I- I- f God damn it. Necessitating frequent desk and chair reorders and even general building expansion. Essentially, due to the principal's unwavering dedication, Heavenly Host became a cornerstone of life within the humble town of Tension. But all that began to change on the dawn of one fateful day, with an incident that would set the stage for Heavenly Host's rapid falling of grace. And then it's ripped apart. Okay. Knowledge retained. The antique doll you threw earlier is still lying here. Pick it up. Sure, why not? I see no problem with this. Creepy doll won't get me killed. It certainly won't try and take control of my body. I can't go this way. I can't bring myself to see Suzumoto like that again. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Can't bring myself to see Suzumoto like that again. Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> Damn it. 
so I can't do anything that way. That's great. Huh? Who's crying? Wh where's that coming from? Sounds muffled, like one of those toy Mika dolls, uh, Mika doll telephones. But it's definitely close. It's that damn doll. It's making noises again. Stop crying at me, you stupid doll. Did I read this? Treat tomorrow like a, like a certainty. If you're alive now, trust that you'll still be alive then. If I recall, it's Tachibana's turn for day for day duty tomorrow. I want to go back to class. I hate the idea that I'm not that I'm not uh, that I might not be able to ever again. I swear I'll take my schoolwork more seriously from now on. Judging by the size, seems to be a high schooler. Can I go back outside? Let's not go that way. Air is really heavy. Best head back to 1A before anything... Okay, well I, I went there and then you fucking... Hmm. I didn't check the bodies. I thought I might go crazy or something. But I guess I'll, I'll head back to 1A. That you want to go there so badly. You know, for someone in a fucking survival situation, she's she's very picky. <laughs> she's like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to go that way. I don't want to do that. Cause, cause I just don't feel I don't feel good. Like, come on, girl, woman up a bit. I didn't check these bodies. When do you have a key on you? There are two corpses here, both large enough to deduce that they were probably high schoolers. It appears that it appears they died hand in hand. And their bleach white bones are still holding hands even now. Uh huh. Anybody got a fucking key? Ever stuck? Come on, doll, do something. Start dancing and taking over my body. Messages wrote previously is still clearly visible at the teacher's desk. No one responded yet. I wonder if anyone has seen it. My messages. I mean, I, I checked the room. There's nothing else in there. Maybe the doll will react if I head over here. Wait, no, I can't go over there. What about in here? Uh. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Where's that? Where's that candle? Where's that candle when you need it? How far away is that candle? There's gotta be one, right? Isn't there one on, like, the hallway? On the steps? Here we are. Okay. Miss dressed in red dress. Dressed in red dress. Okay, yeah. Miss fucking dressed in red over here being spooky and shit. How's it going? Naho sh uh say say no key fuck, I don't that damn it, whatever. Naho, how's it hanging? You gonna you gonna kill me? You're a liar. You're a liar, a thief, and a fraud. Those chosen spirits didn't give a crap about the killer's stupid repentance. Give me back Suzumoto. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Your voice really travels. Damn, dude, you good? <laughs> he came back looking like a badass. He said, I've seen some shit. <laughs> Kishinuma. You gonna collapse on me? Yep, there you go. You okay, Shinozaki? You're one of ass. What on earth happened to you? There's blood everywhere. I got fucked up. That's what happened. Well... As soon as you turned the corner before, I got struck in the noggin. Uh, wait. As soon as you turned that corner before, I got struck in the noggin. Oh, shit. It just auto. It just went by itself. I'm fine, though. Don't worry. Don't know exactly where, but I was locked up in some gloomy little room. And at some point, the chains behind my binding my legs together got loosened. Not sure how, but the second I noticed, I just bolted. Okay. Do you know where you are? 
Not really. It's all kind of hazy. I think I passed out again after a while, and when I came to, I was in the first floor hallway. No clue how I got there. So did someone carry you? Either way, I'm just glad you're alright. I don't know how much more of this I can take. I don't want everybody else to die. Hmm. I'm not mistaken. About what? Oh! She has a portrait now. Okay. If each of those children's spirits were to find peace, even if they had to be appeased one by one, then this closed space, given shape by their bound souls, should not be able to remain in existence. We let them hear the killer's regrets, though. And it did nothing to help us. What kind of person are we dealing with? The man with the hammer who attacked you. He was their murderer. You're serious? My man got clonked in the head by a hammer and still fucking kept it walking. What the hell is wrong with this guy? <laughs> this man's like superhuman. It seems he got a violent streak, even in death. He harms the living indiscriminately. So your first order of business should be to quell his wanton behavior. His wanton behavior? What? How are we supposed to do that? Based on my mentor's research, the antique doll you've got in your hands should be a good place to start. It belongs to him in life. It belonged to him in life. He was given it by his mother, and reportedly, he realizes it. He relies on it. To, wait, what? He relies. <laughs> fuck, I can't read. He relies on it to keep his mind leveled and his heart in balance. So he's basically Jason. He's Jason Voorhees. Just, you know, give him. Show him Mama's little toy. And he's fucking. He's like, oh, Mama. I'm certain, I'm certain he must be looking for it. Hold on a second. Who's this mentor of yours? Uh, my personal fears are not your concern. Uh-huh. Okay. What's happening? Uh, sorry about that. You'll need to find that man's body, or his remains at any rate. And that should be in the school building somewhere. And if you find them, and return the doll to their side. Everything will be just fine. Uh, okay. Um, Miss, Miss Sinoki? Sinoki? However, however the fuck I say your name? Naho? Uh, what the hell was that about? Can we really believe a word she just said? Maybe not, but it's as good as a place to start. Of a start as any. What the hell? Earlier, I was just passing through the first floor, and the doll started crying, like weeping loudly. Seriously? Let me tell you, I sure didn't miss having that thing around. Well, we might be able to use it like a tracking device. It could lead us right to the murderer's body. Either way, let's just keep moving, okay? Or can you? How's your head? Wow, that's a, that's a fucking bump you got there. That was a lousy aim. But he still hit my head full force with the handle. Oh, uh, with just the handle, not the hey, not the not the you know the hammer part. I was wondering how you still walking and the dude just went kadoom. Like how you're not fucking <laughs> how you, how is your head not caved in? If you had been more accurate, I'd be a goner for sure. Damn child killer. You're lucky I just so happen to have some cloth cloth bandage with me. I'll see what I can do about dressing the wound. Part of your prop closet, I take it? Guess I should be thankful for your horror obsession after all. We're now back to being the true hero. Oh, a candle. And the door's open. Back together again. Alright. Let's see where the hell we're going. Can't go that way. Guess we're heading downstairs. Use the, uh... Use the doll. Like a tracking device. Find that body. Maybe find a key along the way. I have to fucking mess with my headset real quick. Change the volume. 
Okay, doll's crying. From red door, six step, horse, 13 spaces, root, what? Aw, oh, motherfucker, are you serious? This fucking zodiac clock shit, I wasn't paying attention to that. Aw, oh, man. Where's the, uh... In what room would that be in? Son of a bitch, are you kidding me? That would be in, um... The... Infirmary? No? That being A1? What? Which room had the fucking... Damn it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk this way. What room had the fucking... Zodiac shit on it? Can't go up here. Can't go this way. Yeah, okay. I know just what you mean, yeah, damn it. Why'd you have to die like that? Yeah. Was it was it I don't like how this room tries to scare me every time. Okay, don't read that. It wasn't that one. Was it this one? Move tongue part two draft. What? Cut the tongue with a pair of big scissors. It's so thick and warm. But how will you know whose tongue it is later when you have a bunch more? Label it with the name tag. The tongue is very tender and squishy, so stick the safety pin in deep to keep the label from slipping away. <laughs> As I read that, my tongue started to hurt. Oh, no! Come on, man! What the hell? Alright, so it wasn't that room. Yeah, 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 I hear you, rooster, horse, dog, whatever the fuck. Not that way. It was, um... Shit. I just don't remember which directions they were. Maybe it was in... Was there a room up here? Okay, stop laughing at me. Was there a room in here? This way? Can he fucking lift this up? Nope. Alright, cool. Uh... Alright, well, shit. You know what? Fuck it. I don't need to look for the damn thing. I'll just mash the fucking A button like it's nothing. A button? I'm playing on a fucking keyboard. Alright, she said something from the steps of the whatever. Somewhere around this red door. In this corner. Over here. Nope. Is it in this corner? Nope. Huh. Maybe I won't find it unless I do it exactly what the hell it's asking me to do. That sounds about right. So you know what that means, gotta go look for that fucking note. Tell me what the hell the directions are for the zodiac sign. I know 12 o'clock is rat. I don't remember what the hell the rest are. As I scratch my head in confusion. Was it... There's a torn piece of paper in here, right? Crumpled up? No. It's one thing I learned from this. Oh, the children. Okay, yeah. No, that's not what I'm looking for. What I'm looking for... Is it in 1A? I don't think it would be in here. Yeah, it's not this one. I read that multiple times. She haphazardly into heaven. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, and then this is their suicide note. Alright, so it's not this room. Where the hell? And it wasn't upstairs. Wait, I'm, I'm sorry. Wait, what? What the hell did that say? Come and join us. We'll be waiting. Waiting impatiently. 
That's new. <laughs> okay. Uh, it wasn't this room, because it was before I came in this room. It wasn't upstairs. Where the fuck? It's back downstairs, then. Why am I... Why can't I find this fucking note? <laughs> I, I get you, doll. From Red Door, Six Steps, Horse, 13 Paces, Rooster. I don't... Ugh. You know what? You know what? I'll just... I'll just guesstimate it, right? I'll just guess it. So, 6 and 13, she said, right? So, let's say Horse is south. And Rooster will probably be, uh... Fucking west. So, from Red Door... One, two, three, four, five, six, thirteen. What the fuck now? See that 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 wouldn't work. What the hell? Thirteen, six, and thirteen. Is it not over here somewhere? Smashing the button really won't help me. It's locked. Okay. It must be like... Let's see. Are you serious? Nothing. Hmm. From Red Door... No, I have to find that. I just gotta find the note. I'm not gonna be able to do it unless I find the goddamn note. I don't think... I'm pretty sure the note's not in the front entrance, so we'll head this way. Check back over here. Is it, is it really not in here? That note? Is this was the school? That was the... Then it has to be in the room. It has to be in the room that I said that it wasn't in. Six steps, horse, 13 paces, rooster. Yeah, but I don't know what the fuck directions those are. Just gotta, just gotta go grab that fucking sheet of paper. I wish I can, um... I wish I can just recall the paper in my head right now. So it's not in 1A, and the only other place I can go to is up here, so it must be on... on the wall up here. I just... guess... I just guess I forgot about it, then. Must be this one. And it's where I read it. No. Bodies. Your bloody scissors. Each of the corpse, yeah. I definitely read that multiple times. What the fuck? And this is blocked off. Where the fuck is that note at? I don't think I can go up. Yeah, I can't go upstairs no more because there's that. Where, where did I read that note? Was it in here? Glad we found each other. Mothers and fathers, blah blah. What the hell? Where's that? Where's that goddamn note? It's not the note in there because I read that one already. Shut up, doll. Stop telling me about fucking horses and roosters. I get it. 
Congratulations on your arrival, blah blah. Stop clapping at me. Is it in this room? Soul will never know peace, whatever. Huh. Where the hell? I'm really confused because I can't find the goddamn paper. You gonna help me out, ghost? Uh, whether you're facing a flyer on the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Was it this one? I don't think it was this one. No, that was her talking about how she wished she died, and then she died. And there's nothing over there, and then there's... Why can I find the fucking paper that I read? I just... I really don't remember. Six. What the hell from Red Door? Six. I don't... I don't get it. I mean, I get it, but like... I just don't know the fucking direction as to where to go. Come on. Six and thirteen. What the hell? There's nothing up here. I'm gonna be stuck on this shit for a while. Unless I find that fucking paper. Which I can't find. For some reason I just can't find that damn paper. I'm just read every fucking paper I come across now. This room with the spooky noise. Was it this? I don't think it was this. Yeah, I don't think it was that. This talked about the principal. Read. Yeah. Draw one fateful day. Okay. No, it's not that one. That one talked about cutting tongues. Oh, I remember where it's at now. God damn it. It's not a scrap of paper. Can't go this way. Oh, yeah. I remember. Sorry. 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 Damn. Ah, fuck. It's not a fucking scrap of paper. It's a goddamn book inside of a fucking cabinet. That's why I couldn't remember shit. I'm looking for a fucking paper... When there is no paper that says what the hell I'm supposed to do. It's fucking book inside of a cabinet. It's upstairs. Should be the, uh... Should be in the cabinet that's up here in this room. It's this cabinet up here. Let's see. Read the book. There we go. Cardinal directions. So, let's see. Rat, ox. Ox would be one. Tiger would be two. Three, rabbit. Horse is, horse is six. Okay. So, head south and then fucking southwest. Okay, so okay, south and southwest. I assume this much, but still. I did say south and west. I didn't say southwest. But since you can't go directly west, then I guess then I guess it would make more sense that way, but since they're saying steps, I thought they wanted me to count like tile base, like you know, like like fucking like one, two, three, right? So, from the red door, which is obviously the killer's hideout. Stop laughing. You keep giggling. Is it here? Because you keep giggling. 
every time I come here. Whatever. All right. And southwest, 13. So... The red door, right? Right here. One, two, three, four. Okay, five, six. Southeast, 13, which I don't think it's possible to go this way, so... It would be... What the hell? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, hold up. This would be five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Around here somewhere. Start checking. Start mashing, checking, questioning. Oh! On the floorboards here is slightly raised. Peer through the crack and you can barely make out some sort of bag in the dark recess below. Try to pull it out. There we go. What we got? With a bit of fidgeting, you were able to remove the item from its compartment. It's a small bag made of hemp and, st and uh, stained literally with blood. There's a name tag attached to it. Heaven House Elementary School, Class 3A. Oh, someone's tongue, man. What's gonna be inside, I wonder? Here, have a look. Don't tell her to look first. She's the most screamish. No way, I'm not touching that. You look. Fine. I have a bad feeling about this. It's a tongue. What? What is it? What's in the bag? See for yourself. Don't tell her to look. She's been possessed like three times already. The bag appears to contain a severed human tongue. There you go. Re return it. The fuck you mean return it? Wait, is this the killer's tongue? This name tag, it's a boy's name. It must be the ghost of the little boy. God. Shinozaki. Why did I tell you to look? What do we do with it? It's so nasty. We give it back to its rightful owner. Huh? You out of your mind? He said, you out of your mind? Are you bonkers? Damn. So now that we have the tongue, I guess we can uh, do some shit. <laughs> I don't know. Seems like the hallway is getting a little bit darker, though. I'm gonna run this way. It's probably this guy. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save the game. Because I will be right back. I have to go and use the bathroom. So give me about. Give me about like two, three minutes. I'll be right back.
Okay. I have returned. We are back now. And what was I doing? I, um... Shit. Oh yeah, we just got the tongue. Alright. And now we gotta go return it to its rightful owner, I guess? Which... I think it's the dead body down here. That serves correctly. Would it be you? This boy of a middle schooler, whoever it was, has... okay. I don't think it's that guy. Let me fix my microphone a little bit. There we go. Alright, so it's not that guy. Let's check the... Uh, why... there we go. I was pressing the wrong keys. Let's check the red door. Because maybe, maybe it'll just magically unlock. You know, a red bag filled with a tongue. Stop laughing at me. Who's laughing at me? Every time. Without fail. Okay. Open says me! Creepy door. Okay, it's not in there. Uh, it, okay, shit. Who would the tongue belong to? I don't think we saw it. We didn't see anybody in the... There's nobody in the infirmary. We can't go up there, so that's off-limits. For the most part. Uh, there's no dead bodies down there. So only upstairs is my option. It's not this guy. I'm pretty sure it's not the girl with her head off. Might be. But they said this is a... a boys. So... Not in here, my bad. Up top. Through this doorway. So, I'm guessing it's... Might be one of, one of their... No. It wouldn't be one of theirs. They killed, they killed themselves. They weren't murdered. Those two killed themselves. Uh, can I go upstairs? Now that I have a big guy with me. Nope. Still off limits. But there's no... I don't think there's a body in here, is there? I don't remember them being a body in here. Well, let's save the game since I have... Since I have a tongue now. Right? There's... That's off limits. Where the fuck... Who the hell am I gonna give this to? I'll... I guess I'll... I guess over here, then? I don't think so, but... Uh-huh. It's a lever, won't budge, need a key. It's not the guy knocked out. And the person with their head off is a girl, I assume. Said this is a tongue of a boy. It's... There's only one dude I've seen around here. It's only this guy, but it's not that guy. Fucking doll keeps giggling every time I walk up here. Let me check in here real quick. Was there any skeletons in here that I just didn't notice? Skeletons, dead bodies. Any... Any boogeymen hiding out? Is it you? Or this seems to only die mere minutes? Okay. It's not you. And there's no... There's no progression beyond that point, so I... Are we heading back to the other building? It's the only thing I can think of right now. Let's see. Or maybe it's this person right here. Measure by the size, it appears to be a student's remains. No. Nope. Can't believe there's a second wing to this place. I had no idea. Then what the fuck? What the hell do you mean return it to its own? What the hell? Tools. Sever tongue of one of the heavy host members sealed in a small hemp bag. Oh, so we just gotta find the guy. 
Well, I mean, of course we gotta find the guy. That sounds stupid when I when I say it like that. But I mean that we have to like. I really feel like this fucking game is super loud. It's loud in my ears, at least. So I'm gonna I'm gonna lower it a little bit again. Now it's too low. <laughs> what the hell? What's going on with this game? And it's audio. There we go. That should be that should be fine. Let me know if it's bad or not. Um So I guess I just Where the fuck do I go? <laughs> I have his tongue now. I'm assuming we didn't run into the person we're supposed to be looking for. There's only a few rooms I can go into, so Let's see. Want them not on the floor. Children's are victims too. The only other thing I can think of is where the hell this like uh what the hell that lever does over there. But I need like a key or something for it. Glass all over the floor. Be very careful where you step. Huh. Can't go upstairs. This is blocked off. Well, not blocked off, but there's nothing in here. I'll check the desk. Maybe there's something. No, I read that already. I got what I needed out that book. This is just the murder on that paper. And there's no point beyond here. Maybe, uh, maybe I gotta head towards the infirmary now. Maybe since we have the tongue, we can, we can brave the sorrows, or whatever the hell it is we're doing. That's what I imagine anyways. It'll be kind of hard to imagine that we can't do that yet. If our goal is to find the ghost that it belongs to. Wrong way. Wrong door. It's through here. Up the stairs you go, and... It has to be past here, or, or either we gotta hang out in the infirmary. Are we hanging out in the infirmary? Is that what we're doing? I don't think so. I don't think that's what the hell we're supposed to be doing. Can I not go through here? Can't go that way. Well, your goal is to hand the tongue back. <sighs> what the fuck? Can't go through the door. Can't go that way. There's nothing in the infirmary. Can't go this way. What the hell? Is it... Is it... Wait, is it the ghost? Is it the legit actual spirit? Like this evil one up here? It hurts so much. Even in death, it always hurts. No, it's not you. What the hell? What the hell am I supposed to do? This is locked. And I need some sort of key. Well, I mean, I guess that we're hanging out together now. I guess I can just go and maybe I just need to go read a sign again. Because last time when I was with the when I was with the murderous guy, went and we read a sign and it was different and told us to go get some shoes or some shit. So maybe a sign somewhere has changed. I can assume that. Retrace my steps, read every sign, check every skeleton. That's all I can really do right now. Let's see? Stream tomorrow. No, okay, no, not that. I don't think it would be in the entrance hall, but... But hell, who am I to complain, right? 
game wants me to check everything. Like it's Santa Claus's list. Should never release from the misery. Okay. This is, of course, locked. I've just been fucking wandering around a goddamn school building, not knowing what the hell to do. Congratulations on your arrival. They applaud me because they want me to join them in the death. This guy, apparently, tongue isn't his. Even though he's the only male that we see right now. Is there no, like... There's no, like, use button? Cursed doll. Finding victim's remains. Okay. Do I have to find more remains? Is that is that the goal here? I assume if it would be the goal, the doll with would start making noise. Okay, well, let's see if there's anything new with any papers laying around. I don't think this changed. Yeah, they're victims too. Blah, blah. Nothing over here. What the hell? This is still the same, I assume. What? Notice all faculty due to some reason kidnappings. Uh, the victim was taken quickly and unexpectedly, so please remain alert and aware at all times. Okay. Message on your desk. Nothing added. Nothing there. So glad we found each other before we died. This reads as follow. Can't get into heaven. Okay. Never stuck. Won't budge. Mechanism is locked. There's a tiny peculiar key shaped hole. Which, I don't know where the hell a key is at. Gotta find a key. And I can't go upstairs. Let's see, I'm waiting impatiently. And this room has nothing for me whatsoever, nothing on the desk. Apparently it has nothing. Nope. Nothing on the board. Nothing on this paper. Read it? Sure. For the past month. Uh, most likely explanation, investigators located, findings, body absorbed, okay. Got a catatonic, pair of scissors. Each was removed. One page at this point. Hmm. There's nothing new. Can't go over there. Can't go upstairs. I'll try the fucking infirmary again. Maybe there's just something in the infirmary that I haven't checked. There's a note about, uh, about cutting tongues in there, but I don't... I don't think that would help. The game's being a little bit more cryptic than usual. Well, at least I can say that I'm super familiar with the layout now, since I'm fucking running around circles. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Okay. Is there nothing in here? Uh, There's a spirit here. What do you mean there's a spirit here? I see him too. How the fuck? Okay. Be careful. Don't make eye contact. Don't make eye contact. What the hell? But I have to give him his tongue back, right? I won't make eye contact. He's facing. He's facing that way. So unless he turns his fucking head. Here's your tongue, you fuck. I know. No eye contact, right? Yeah, but reduces the boy's tongue from her bag. 
but nothing seems to be attracting his attention. He simply isn't noticing it. In order to give him back his tongue, he needs to see it. So, you know, we have uh, to know we have it. Just throw it in front of him. So it's got to be directly in his field of vision, huh? Yeah, not going to happen. If his eyes meet me, I'm dead, right? And then what? Wait, hold up. I've never seen you shake like that before. All right, then. I guess a man's got to do what a man's got to do. It's all yours. Fuck you, Ayumi. J just don't look at him. Here's your tongue. I'll face this way. Place it in front of him. He told me no eye contact. What the hell? What the hell am I supposed to do? You really want me to, like, walk in front? Like... Come on, man. It's some bullshit. Crap, he's looking right at me. Oh, uh, uh, Yoshizawa. That's right, I know your name. Show him the time. Yeah, take it. I feel bad for what happened to you, but I can't sympathize with you on what you're doing. Hurting strangers because of your own despair, pulling them into a horrible place like this, and killing them. You killed our dear friend. I can never forgive you for that. Merely, you really shouldn't piss off the ghost. The one that has my life in my hands. But, uh, life in its hands. Anyways. But this is yours. It's part of your body, so I'm gonna give it back to you. Hand over the tongue. My. My tongue. Thank you, miss. I will now kill your friend. What? What's going on? Damn it, another earthquake. You gotta be kidding me. Won't get anywhere by wallowing in my self-pity. Yuka, I swear I'll protect you. Please wait for me. First things first, though. I need to go check on Naomi. Oh! Girl in red dress! Haha! <laughs> wait. Now's not the time. Now's not the time. No! Now's not the time. Go check on your fucking friend. The last thing I want to do. Door's locked. What the? I know I left the door unlocked. It feels like some someone on the other side is pushing against it, keeping me from getting in. Nomi, you in there? If you if that's you, open the door, please. There's no answer. Is it someone else? Well, I tried my best. She's dead. Tried everything I could do. Can't mamru her, she can't mamru herself for a little bit. Guess I'll follow the the fucking lady in red. Mommy. Hmm. That's not creepy at all. I'm going to kill you. Who me? You're not gonna kill me. There's no way. There's no way you would kill me. I'm invincible. Uh huh. Okay. There's a yellow sheet of notebook paper on the floor next to the boy. The shakiness of the letter... The shakiness? Yeah, the shakiness of the letter... Of the lettering and the contents... The... Ma uh... Fuck. The, um... Yeah, why can't I say the word? The random... Moran... Whatever, you know what I mean. Suggests that it's written... That his writer was on the verge of death... Well before pen touched paper. I need water so badly, I'm hungry, sure. But I can deal with the hunger. It's the thirst I can't stand. The other guy I was with, Satoshi Masamubara, uh, Masubara, he tried drinking that filthy tap water from the sink in the bathroom, but he threw it all up almost immediately, and it burned his chest and his throat so badly that he wound up dying. I tried to think outside the box, 
even going so as far as drink my own spit. Drink your own spit doesn't fucking work. Idiot. You gotta, you gotta fucking, you gotta bear grills it. You gotta drink your own piss. But needless to say, it didn't end up helping one bit. My tongue's so swollen at the point that I can't even talk. Ironically, it's been pouring outside since we got here. If only I would have found my way to gather some of that rainwater. Satoshi may still be alive. Satoshi? I'm Satoshi. It's almost as if someone's playing a cruel joke on me, showing me more water than I've ever seen before, putting it just outside my reach. What do you mean if you could gather the water? Just fucking look up at the sky and drink it. Somebody wrote that there's a whole other wing at the school. Access through... Oh, wait. Oh, no, this version of the school. They can't go outside. Okay, yeah, no. That makes sense. <laughs> Uh, access through the hallway and out- uh, wow. Access through an outdoor walkway, but I never found it. At last resort, I'm gonna try drinking my own blood. My name is Hidemasa- Hidemasa? Hide- Hidemasa, yeah, okay. Kojima. I'm an 11th grader in class 2-4 of Amazuki- Amazuki, why did I add that? Amazaki West High. If everyone- if anyone's reading this, they get out of here alive. Please tell my family, tell my father what happened to me. I don't want to be a missing person for the rest of my life. I hate the idea of him always wondering where I went, or if I'm even still alive. It seems to continue, but the rest of it is completely drenched in blood, rendering it totally illegible. Huh. God damn. Hope that doesn't happen to me. You in here, spooky ghost? Spooky red ghost? Oh. This thing's gonna start teleporting around the room. It's gonna do that shit again. Now it's on the other side. Uh-huh. With the light jumping back and forth like that, I'll never be able to get the object myself. Someone else will have to lend me a hand. Yeah, I see that. Maybe I'll come across the teacher. Oh! There's a, there's a bad spirit with a dead body next to it. Kill, curse, hurt sister, hate. Okay. Someone's cell phone is lying on the ground. Pick it up. <laughs> Fucking, why not? Quiet sick of cell phone. Oh, really? This is Shinohara's, isn't it? Seiko seems to have always been in the middle of texting someone when she dropped her phone. Text entry window is still open. While confirming the phone owner, Satoshi wound up in, in, uh, in it, inadvertently. Can't read the word. Reading the whole thing. Shinohara. I'm sorry, Shinohara. I really didn't mean to. I don't think Naomi should see this. Not now, at any rate. Aw, oh, man. This is a scary corner. Look how scary it is. The music. And there's nothing. Silence. And then it's scary. I'm, I'm not looking at that body. That That's an evil spirit in front of it. It's going to kill me. Alright, so... Door's locked. This is a television. Uh, that's a television, isn't it? I did find the video cassette in the other building. So she removes the tape from his bag and reads the label. It might hold some important information if only we had some way to watch it. Fingers crossed, I guess. Okay. It's a horrible decayed corpse with, absolute, with an absolutely rancid odor. Okay, well, at least the spirit didn't kill me the moment I... What? Why'd the game, why'd the game choke up like that? Can't get this in here. Can I try heading upstairs? Is that blocked off? No, yeah, it's the dead guy over here. And then there's nothing over here. It was the cell phone. So, I can't enter the firmary. I didn't check this. The skeletal remains rolled on the ground here. Well, that's it. It's not nothing, nothing more to that. 
Oh. Naomi, are you possessed? Satoshi, please don't leave me alone in there like that. Sorry, I was too busy feeling bad for myself. Okay, that makes sense. Did you find her? No, the corridor that leads to where I saw her last went back to being a wall. I can't find any way of getting to the other building anymore. Another building? There's a whole other building? Yeah. Looks like the school Yuka Mirashi uh, Morishigi and I were in is a different one from this one. We need to find some way to tra of traveling between the spaces. That would be ideal, yeah. Wait a minute. Why are you standing out here instead of waiting inside the infirmary? I was attacked in there earlier by some kind of black shadowy mist. So I was a little scared to be in there, afraid it might attack me again. You serious? I'm really sorry about that. Damn. Don't worry about it, but there's something in there for sure. I think we should keep our distance. No objections here. So don't go in that room. Bad room. Fleshy, meaty guts. Here's if someone or something is holding it shut. Okay. Well, oh wait. Now that she's with us, we can go get that sparkling light. That beautiful purple. That's all I want in my life. I want my shiny purple objects with my shiny purple clothes and my, and my delicious purple drink. I love the purple drink. It's my favorite. My favorite flavor of drink, purple. Alright. Naomi, you're gonna... Yeah, 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 I get it, Mommy. Naomi, you're gonna help me out here. You're gonna help me go catch a... A little sparkly, shiny thingy. I need you to wait. Well, first of all, memorize where it's at. It's at the top little section there, and then like about about two spaces, right? One, two. Yep, about two spaces. All right. And that one's right here. Can I not tell her to stay put here? Nope, I gotta... We have to fucking wait for a cutscene to tell me about it. Get me? Ah, oh, there we go. Sure, no problem. Thanks, Naomi, you're the best. Alright. Nail me now, grab it. Okay, I got it. What we get? Acquired a custodian key. Oh. That's That's interesting. Nicely done there. In fact, you seem totally unfazed. Did you figure out what we need to do on your own or something? Actually, I had to do something similar before with Seika. Did you uh did you same here? But with Yuka. Let's keep moving. We'll find her. I know we will. Yeah. So, it's up up here's the custodian room, right? Yeah. So now that we have this, before I do anything remotely dangerous, I want to make sure that I that I save the game. But I'll have to do it down here cuz I'm assuming heading back in the infirmary would be a bad idea. I don't want to have to deal with that spooky creature. Oh, really? Where the fuck? How, how far away is this goddamn candle? There's this. So we should keep our distance from that room. I don't want to run in there if I don't have to. Is there a candle in here? No. Alright, well, shit. I don't want to stray away too far. So I guess I'll just use my gut instincts. I'll just do what I gotta do without saving the game. Nothing to be... Nothing to be afraid of. You know, just... The threat of having to do it all over again. 
Uh-huh, mommy, I get it. Alright. Now, time for me to show... Time for me to show you... What? Time for you to show me your secrets. I just want to make sure there's no candle in here. Show me your secrets. Show me the way of murder. Use the custodian key? Yep. Okay. What's going on in here? This turtle, turtley. This totally doesn't look creepy or anything. Who turned off the lights? What the? What's going on? Why is it so cold? Oh, cause there's a ghost in here. Something really smells. And it's pitch black in here. Can you find the light switch? I'll try. Found it. Phew, thanks. There's totally a dead body over there. Man, it does stink in here. But it's not just mold, is it? Probably not. Oh, it's old fashioned space heater. Something sticky seems to have melted all over its surface. Stains everywhere. Am I gonna get fucking ringed out here? It's an old Japanese uh, Fuzuma. Fuzuma? Uh, Fusuma. Fusuma. Sliding door. Presumably opening opening to a closet. It's torn and stained in equal measures throughout the surface. Something seems off about this closet. I get the feeling that this one door we shouldn't open. Okay. Yeah, let's not. There's a video A cam... Video A? Video 8 camcorder lying on top of the TV. His cassette deck is empty. Its batteries also seem to have run out. However, as the LCD display isn't turning on... What is, some, what is something this recent doing in a place like this? Maybe it belongs to someone who was brought here like us. Yeah, that does make some sense. Unfortunately, there's no cord here to hook it up to the TV. And it's out of battery, so it doesn't look like we'll be able to get much out of this. Where did this come from? Did this just... There's a magazine article here from the publication called Strange But True. Stories of the Occult. Let's follow up to the previous report. Read it. Alright. Chasing down the hidden paths of the current... You know what? Before I even fucking read this, let me let me drink some goddamn water. How's it going, man? Before I read what the hell I have to read... <clears throat> I gotta drink this water. I need this shit. Long ass day and you got work tomorrow. Me too, man. I got work tomorrow and... Apparently, I guess I'll be starting a new job next week or something. So I have to figure out whatever schedule I do with that. Uh, chasing the hidden past of the curse of the cursed school building. Follow up. Let's talk a bit more about Yo uh, Yoshizaki. Oh, wow, Yoshikazu. Yan Yan I'm not even gonna fucking whatever, man. Beloved son of Heavenly Host Elementary Principal. The man was born instructor, pure and simple. He was. He took up the mantle as soon as he could, and performed his duties with peerless pants. Uh, pan what? I don't even know that word. But then the illness struck, and little by little, his winning personality gave way to pure instinct. He was slowly losing all his sense of identity. Although the cause of this illness was unknown, it affects. It affects were anything but. Simply put, the good teacher had begun reverting to a childlike state. He began carrying an antique doll with him at all times, a memento from a long-forgotten festival, perhaps, given to him by his late mother. His behavior during class degraded quickly. More often than not, his lectures would cease before the period ended, and he began wailing mournfully. Finally, several months prior to the kidnapping and murder incident, Yoshizake, Yo, Yoshizaku, whatever the fuck, reached a point of where he could no longer communicate his thoughts. Although he could still understand others, he became virtually incapable of forming words without intense focus. Given all the incident mounted against him, uh, whatever the fuck his name was, the teacher, was arrested on multiple accounts of kidnapping, murder, and des uh, desecration of the dead. But due to his mental condition, he was never able to confess his involvement in these crimes, nor even proper discuss them with authorities. 
Everything hinged on the testimony of the sole survivor, Wasachiko Shinozaki, age 7. In search of the truth behind the less scientific, wait, what? Yeah, scientific afflictions, this incident sprung. I, of course, chose to follow the trail of the mysterious little girl. Those who have seen the infamous newspaper photos accomp uh, accompanying this story may remember Sachiko's best as the girl with the string, with the strangely unusually, unusually unusual red dress. It's hard not to feel sympathy for someone so so young forced to watch other children her age being tortured and killed one by one. And certainly, if I were to find this Miss Shinozaki and secure an interview, there would be some real moral concerns about digging up such painful memories. But then again, she's been a full-grown and hopefully well-adjusted adult for over 10 years at this point. She's not even an adult if it's been 10 years. What the hell are you talking about? She's still 17. By now, if anything, her life would be more complicated. <laughs> By now, she'd be able to look back on these horrific events with some object with some objectivity and give a and give more thoughts account of what happened that day. Sounds fucky. Back to these guys. You okay, Ayumi? You almost got me killed. I'm impressed, Shinozaki. You're far stronger than I thought, except for that time where you just walked out on me completely and fucking almost got me killed. I was scared out of my mind. My brains are still struggling to make sense of it all. I'm surprised your brain's even functioning. You've been possessed like three times by now. Okay, but look, the ghost is gone. I guess we'll manage to. I guess we managed to appease it. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm alive. That's good. You should probably dry your tears and blow your noise. Uh, noise? Wow. Blow your nose at least. Ah, what the hell? I'm out of my shirt. Did I tell you? Did I tell you before that you should say, that you shouldn't say things like that? What are you, what are you, two? That's real gross. Not good. She's not normally like this, Shimazaki. Get inside of me now. We shall merge together to become as strong as one. Okay. Now that I've returned the tongue to said ghost, what the hell am I supposed to do? Hey, hey, how's it going? Fucking... Alright, so, handed the tongue back to the... Maybe I can... Maybe I can, uh... Go and see if I can meet the girl in the red dress again, the reporter? Either that or... Would the, would the red door be affected by now, actually? I don't think it would, but... Maybe. Stop laughing at me, you ghost. Welcome to Heavenly Host Academy. Home of the damned and the restless. Alright, fuck. I wanna know, would this be affected since I've opened the door with with the Satoshi? I highly doubt. Yeah, okay. Cause different time time space. Damn. What about this? Let's see if the cabinets cabinets? I can't fucking pronounce words. The cabinet is still on the ground. That's still a, a no-go place. I guess I'll just try and meet up with the reporter. Maybe she'll just appear out of thin air. Like a wild Pokemon. Gotta chase her down. Alright. 1A? I assume nothing would be in this area of 1A if there was anything. Um, all right. How do I like it? I'm having a lot of fun so far. There's just some times where... There's some times where, a little, where things are kind of unclear, like right now. She just, uh... We just handed the tongue back to the boy, had our little... Our little moment with Satoshi and Naomi. And then we're just back here and they're like, okay, now go. <laughs> Like, I have no problem with just, like, backtracking and stuff, but... 
for I wish they would also give me a reason as to why I can't go that way. They're just like, nope, that's a hell no. Nah. Just right, right there. I mean, feel free to summon thee if you need help. Uh, right now I know that I have to look for this key, but I assume <laughs> the vibes are bad upstairs. Definitely. It's just like. He's like, nope, not even going to try it. They don't want to go upstairs. They don't want to go to the next building. They don't want to go past the body of, uh, of Suzumomo. And I understand that. But I mean, when you're trying to look for shit to survive, it's like, listen, how many dead bodies we've seen now? I get that one of them is our friend. But come on, man. <laughs> the music is intense. Is it... <sighs> I have to keep asking this. Is it fucking okay? So the doll's losing its shit. Uh, what what directions want me to go? Rooster. So rooster was, rooster was southwest, and then rat was north. One step, rooster. Ten paces, rat. From here? Wouldn't that just take me to the next room? It's not loud, it's just it sound like chase music. Okay. Isn't isn't rat twelve, so wouldn't that be north? Alright, I'm just gonna mash up and down here a little bit, right? Just to make sure there's nothing in here. But I could have sworn. Rat is one hundred percent. Uh <laughs> what would chase you here? I mean, we were chased by ghosts, we were chased by fucking... We were chased by, uh, people we can't make eye contact with. There's also... Read again. Really. Hmm. Go where the floor collapsed. Oh, the floor collapsed, but then got better. Oh. I forgot that they did that. Yeah, you're right. Okay. One step rooster. 10 paces rat. Huh. That was so... I'm gonna be honest, that was so goddamn long ago. I like his vibes. He's vibing. He's chilling out. i am be honest, I really don't use the word vibing. Or vibe in general. It just... I don't know, it doesn't... I don't want to say it doesn't sit with me. It's just something that I don't think of. Okay, so do they mean, like, in another room? <laughs> you say too much? That's fine. I mean, it's roll off the tongue. For example, I say bro too fucking much. I hate it. <laughs> it's the knife. Alright. Are they talking about here? The floor has clearly collapsed previous. Okay. Cool. So fucking one over here and then up north. Would it be in Wouldn't Ten take me like over here? What the hell? Okay, I'm gonna assume they mean from here. So then southwest set southwest one, right? So it would be here. Then up ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, there we go. When the floorboards here slightly raised, peer through the cracks, you just barely make out something shiny in the dark recesses below. The non hippie way of saying energy of aura? Really? You ever heard anyone say aura before? Besides, when they're talking about a Disney princess, we say Aurora. Or Pokemon, when you use Aura Beam. From beneath the floorboards, you manage to fish out a crack-like key that resembles the- Oh, yes. The hell is this? Doesn't look like it would fit in any door I know. Yes. Really? You heard people, like, say, or Really? How so? <laughs> Someone just be like, Oh, man, I'm really feeling the aura of this room, bro. Feel the energy seep through my body. The sunlight on my skin. 
Oh, you're friends with a lot of pagan type people. How is that? Is it pagan or is it Wiccan? I want to know how that. I want to know how that is. Like, for example, my fucking. Apparently, my family thinks I'm atheist, even though I say, "Hey, man, I guess an agnostic would be the way to go for me." Because if something exists, cool. If it, <laughs> if it doesn't, then whatever, man. <laughs> um. The wonder you find looks like it's fit perfectly in the keyhole in the base of lever. Use it? Yep. Also, most people who talk to me about religious stuff never really go to church themselves, and I'm like, okay. I mean, to each their own. I did indeed sleep into the- Sleep? The hell is wrong with me? I did indeed slip into the device without any trouble. But nothing happened. Oh, come on. Waste of time. Now a ghost is gonna come and touch me in my no-no spot. The ghost of Michael Jackson shall arise. Let me check that shit again before I just leave. <laughs> They're pretty cool people, to be honest. It's funny. Yeah, sometimes. I definitely get what you mean. Like, uh, I had somebody, I had somebody who's like really religious, uh, try forcing it. Oh, is it gonna chop my hand off? Okay. It's gonna make the body start dancing. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's pretty fucked up. <laughs> like, uh I don't I don't wanna sound too political here or anything like that. It's each their own, right? But I know I know some people who are like they're not my friends, I kinda met them in a group, and they're like super religious to the point where they're like they said something really kinda crazy to me. Where they went on some weird tirade and there was like, they were like, man, I believe people who say they're gay and lesbian aren't actually gay and lesbian. It's just that they're perceiving the world differently. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? And the motherfucker said like, well, when you're watching something like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Slayer and they fucking use like love potions. And I was like, let me stop you right there. That's a fucking TV show, man. Chill out. <laughs> he really used that as an example. I was like, oh my God, you crazy? <laughs> Wow, get a load of this place. It's got showers and everything. More importantly, it has water. Paganism is very interesting. Just as any religion, like a cult teaching in wisdom. I mean, like, they're not hurting anybody, right? As long as they're not saying fucking Kalima and ripping my goddamn heart out, then it's fine. I know some... I know... I don't know too many pagan people, but I know a handful. And I mean, like, actual, like, kind of paganism people, not fucking... Not like the person you meet in high school who's all like, man, I'm totally one with, like, nature and shit. And I'm like, bro, you're totally not. I see you eating a cow right now. <laughs> it hurts. Make it stop. Oh my god, my head. It's not fun. I don't mean, I don't mean, like, the, I don't mean the occult stuff is fun. I mean, like, uh their like perception of the world like a lot of like a lot of gothic types i know they're like either wiccan some of them are just pure christian are you all right do you feel something again uh huh you getting possessed again is her nose bleeding jesus it's just an, it's just her nose it's fine but if blood vessel burst in her brain or something here shinozaki stuff some tissue in your nose and stop the bleeding this is your fourth time being possessed. Thanks, I have some of my own. But since you got yours out already, why? Yeah, go ahead. Did the ghost get to her? Nah, she's been a little off since before that. I think she's probably reached her limit. She needs to rest. Just be nice no matter what religion you belong to. Yeah, exactly, right? Like, everybody's different. I lo Like, sometimes... Sometimes everybody's different, but they don't like getting point out that they're different, I guess. Even though they want to be point out that they're different. I don't get it. <laughs> oh, really? That's a that's a whole trifecta there of religions. Look at this. This guy's gonna... Hello? <laughs> Hello? The locker is empty. Huh. But in court's party, give me death and despair. 
so far, I believe our body count's been up to five so far. The ones that we witnessed, anyways. We have, uh... We have Psycho. She died. Fucking... The guy that dude stabbed, that Kazuma? What's his name? Kazami? He stabbed some dude up. People want to be individuals, but they don't want to be different or separate. Yeah, it's kind of like that. It's like, I want to be equal, but not too equal. <laughs> it's like, alright man, I get it. Just don't hurt me. Okay, oh no! I just started strolling up in there like it was no one's business. Get the hell out of here. Hell no. <laughs> uh, where the floor collapsed, but then got better. One step root. Wait, what? Didn't I? I did that already. What the hell are you telling me to do it again for? I guess that's just like a pre-occurring thing now. I don't think I need to do it again. That might just be like the way the game is built. It's probably waiting for like an event to occur to change its thing. Right? She just want to hug. Well, she can go. She can go hug the fucking wall or some shit. Oh, I didn't even see this. Oh. This is new. No running by the pool. I I think I should heed that warning. So walk slowly. Get away from that water, man. Can't even see the other side of it with all the rain. You okay? <laughs> Give her a hearty hug. Yeah. She wants my hearty. That's what she's looking for. Alright, here go. You're not gonna jump in the water. <laughs> this clearly isn't working. Why don't I take the doll from you? You'll catch your <laughs> you'll catch your death of cold out here. Go back inside. Feel so bad for the little girl. She's hanging out with a murderer! <laughs> and the other dude's kind of a murderer too. I don't even know if he's a murderer or not. We haven't seen him kill anybody, but he's a creep. I can handle the search. You just wait for me in the locker room. And in the extra scene, they just meet each other for like a split second and go separate ways. Nothing gets fucking said after that. What's gonna happen when the ghost shows up again? You think you'll be able to handle it? Don't worry about me. If anything happens, I'll call you. Who you gonna call? You're gonna call Yoshiki. And you can come to my rescue. Not Yoshiki, you're gonna call me. Alright. Just don't do anything stupid like separating. And there we go. <laughs> Thank you. You say something? <laughs> Miss so much. Have no idea who this dude is. Uh, he's the guy who got clonked in the head the last time you were here. He <laughs> doesn't know everything. Be able to. <laughs> what? <laughs> How dare you? Fucking. I don't want to go into the water. I heard the water was dangerous and bad. There's monsters in there. And where's my last fucking save point? Was it in the goddamn... I didn't... When's the last time I saved this fucking game? No running in the pool. Let me see. Where's my goddamn save point? You're chilling out here? Well, not much to report yet, unfortunately. Don't worry, though. It's not like I'm... Okay. If a spirit latches onto you when your defenses are down, it'll be with you for the rest of your life, so please be careful. The water looks yucky. It looks like it's fucking Black Lagoon. My dog is slowly crawling up to me and crying. Is there something I can help you with? No, you're not going to sit on my lap. Go crawl up in your ball over there. Go do that. <laughs> Go do that for a moment. You're fine. Get out of here. <laughs> I fed you. You went outside. I need to keep looking. Without a fucking... I'm gonna be attacked and I don't have a goddamn save point. Oh my god, this is gonna be terrible. Fucking creature of the Black Lagoon in here. Poor doggo needs attention. She gets nothing but attention. She gets more attention than my other dog. My other dog's just chilling. And the reason I give her more attention is because she's older. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. 
What's up with the murky water? There's no telling what can be down there. All I know is I wouldn't be caught dead in this pool. Of course, I can't really swim, so... Warely? Oh my god. Can't swim? This guy's a badass fucking... He's a uh, delinquent who can't swim. There's no sign of a door. It says pump room. Door's locked. Okay. <laughs> Give Doggo a treat. She ate already. <laughs> huh? the hell is this? All I do is give her treats. She eats so fast that she fucking throws up sometimes. I gotta, like, stare at her when she's eating. Make sure she doesn't fucking start throwing up. It looks like there's a key lost in the crack between two tiles. Try to dig it out? Sure. Acquired pump room key. Huh. Pump room. I've had enough. Hmm? Swamp Thing, is that you? What? What's that? <laughs> Come on, give me a break here. Don't fucking give me the timer when shit's going to happen. Come on. Don't give me the timer in the middle of... Ah, damn it. No time to read. So what the hell am I supposed to do? True label written on the palm right below it. There's slot for some sort of lever handle. Oh my fucking god. Where? Where? <laughs> Come on, there's gotta be a lever in here. There's valve labeled. Uh, sure, why not? Is there a fucking. Is that draining the pool? There's a lever inside the pool, isn't there? Oh, Something. Oh my god. What? Timer's gone. Swamp Thing, is that you? Well done. Well done. You think that's well done, go and fuck... Well, if you think that's well done, then yeah, you're right, but... <laughs> if you don't want to see how you do something like that, go watch the Parasite Eve shit. Fucking... I fucked that up big time. Like four times, to be exact. Why would you get close to it? I feel like the water can just come back at any moment. Wait, that's Shinozaki? Are you kidding me? What happened? What? How? This is why you don't split up! Oh man. Next to the door in the pump room. Really? Huh? What is this, bad end? <laughs> Wrong end. Really? <laughs> you know what? You're right about that. My only problem, the reason why I didn't want to read things too much. <laughs> is because they have the timer going while you're reading. <laughs> it's fine. At least, at least they tell you it's the wrong end. So you don't fucking have to guess, like, what the hell you're doing? What? This is the one. Main building with stairs. Okay, so this is before I got the key, right? I think this is before I got the key. Do I have the fucking key? Tools. Cursed all. Okay, yeah, I don't have the key yet, so it's here. Somewhere. Are you kidding me? Is this before I walked into the room? I think this is before I walked into the room. Wait, hold on. Eight, nine, ten. Huh. I think I gotta walk back downstairs and trigger it. Either that or I already triggered something. Oh, I did. Okay. said more give me more despair like okay okay danganronpa stop it <laughs> man i really uh, the only danganronpa game i have yet to play is v3 and i've had it since launch but i want to record it so i just i just haven't fucking touched it at all but i really want to play it so bad <laughs> 
Oh, this ghost probably killed her. Wrong school, I know. It's not, it's not Hope's Peak Academy. It's fucking... Whatever the hell this place called. Still need to play any Dangan? Oh my god. Dangan Rampa is like the worst and the best of a story. But I will say most of the fan base, most of the fan base, not all, are kind of unbearable to deal with. They're like on the same level as the Kingdom Hearts fan base. It's kind of terrible when you think about it. And of course, of course. Every time you run past a Spencer's or a Hot Topic, prepare to have somebody shove Monokuma in your face. <laughs> it does think about Hope's Peak. Man, it makes me think about fucking... Ah. I don't... I can't talk about it. I can't talk about it, Danganronpa. I gotta stop. <laughs> I have to stop talking about it. Okay, so... This one? Confirm all swimmers have vacated the pool before draining. What? Oh. No running by the pool. And I can't read that one over there. What are you... What? <laughs> How does that... Is there a... Oh. Are there drains inside of fucking... Inside of the other room? Let me see. Shinozaki? Damn it, she's not here. What the hell is she thinking? Locker's empty. What the hell? Check the drains or the sink. It's her blood. Blood from her nose. Huh. What's wrong with me? What am I doing? I should never take my eyes off of her. It's all my fault, goddammit. Is that supposed to be like her blood? Was that blood on that pipe before? Shinazaki! Coming for you. Come on! Pretty sure there's some waves coming from it. Come on, man. Hurry up. She's not here. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Picked the wrong spot. Ah, shit. We're all gonna die. Twenty seconds. I'm totally not saving her. She's not here. Did I pick the wrong spot? I would assume she was here, right? She was like pretty much in the middle. Well, whatever it is, we already we already lost. It's not here. And there she is. I got to remember that spot. Okay. That one is super my fault. <laughs> you failed her once again. <laughs> it's gonna suffer from being drained and crushed and drowning. Yeah, I know. When she dies, how cruel am I? When she dies, she feels the pain over and over again. Oh man. How cruel am I? When you think about it, it's their fault. They should never split up. Every time someone split up, something bad happens. Why would you ever split up? Huh? Why would you ever do that?
It's just the next room. Yeah, they do show it at the beginning. It's just that I honestly, I thought I had it to memory. <laughs> Listen, it's her fault for being possessed by so many goddamn ghosts. <laughs> All right, I got this. Yep, just saw a spooky spirit. Not to worry about that, nothing. Okay. Go go inside. There we go. I had to remember what the skip button was. I barely use it. <laughs> X or shift to skip to oh there you go. Actually it's not it's not either of those. On this it's it's escape for some reason. I don't know why it's escape. Escape is also for the main menu. <laughs> well, the more you know. Pump room, huh? Okay. Alright, I see it. I just wanna... Wanna confirm it over here. Because maybe he won't even jump in unless I look for her. There you go. <laughs> escape? Yeah, I don't know why it's escape, man. Blame Steam, right? This is the Steam version that I'm playing. Even though it's technically still a... Come on, Shinozaki, I got you. It's her. Don't worry, Shinozaki, I got you. Come on. Even though I just said I don't know how to swim. Somehow I managed to swim. Good old Steam version. The Steam version is just like an emulated version, isn't it? Come on, breathe already, damn it. <laughs> sputter. I, I remember the good old sound effects, sputter. You good, Ayumi? You good? You hanging in there? You still possessed? Huh. God, don't worry me like that. back with me now so tell me why the hell did you jump into the pool you called me out there didn't you what I heard your voice so I ran outside and after that I don't remember much else the next thing I knew my vision was all sick and sickening green color and my mouth was full of water is she gonna like slowly die now because one of the papers I read said someone tried to drink water and then it burnt their insides. Ah, damn it. Was this the work of those ghosts again? Can't believe they can trick us so easily. There's gotta be something in that pool. Uh, something tuck in my tooth. <laughs> Thuffa tuck in my tooth. Wonder if the showers still work. The Steam version is a port of the 2006 phone version. Oh, really? I thought it was just... I thought... I just thought it was someone, like, tucked the damn, um... Someone just tucked the files and compiled them all into, like, a collection or something. Okay. It was never finished and badly ported by Steam. Really? I haven't had any... Well, I'm not gonna say I haven't had any problems per se but i did notice that sometimes the game like from chapter four onwards the game stutters here and there a little bit instead of playing a new psp or a newest version um yeah I'm, I'm definitely gonna do that at some point though how does you think i feel what 
I wasn't even paying attention. What the hell are you talking about, Yoshiki? How about we go into the rain and wash ourselves off a little? Although I don't know how much help rainwater will be for getting this taste out of your mouth. Okay. Alright then, let's go. Now get inside my body. Together we shall fight as one. After this, I guess we'll need to figure out how to dry our clothes. Yeah, but um... I'm definitely gonna play like the remake at some point. Probably after I play the... I wanna say third game, maybe? I'm not sure how many games there are. I think there's seven? The original, two... There's a third one and then a remake. And then like a game in between or something, I think. And then I think they did a reboot or some shit. I don't remember. You were? That's good. So, Shinozaki, while I was out here, I came across a room in the back and I think... And I kind of like to check it out. I'll go with you. That's probably for the best. Alright, let's do it. So... Did you guys hear about that fucking Sephiroth shit today? You fight Sephiroth and you, you unlock him. The key was so rusted and brittle, it instantly snapped as soon as it was turned. Unfortunately, it already done its job. I mean, I went and I fought Sephiroth. I clicked it. I clicked? I clicked. I kicked his ass with Cloud. Did very hard, and only very hard. And, to tell you the truth, very hard is not very hard. The fucking level 9 CPUs do a better job. Crew label written on a piece of tape attached to the device reads water pump. Okay. You're not missing anything. The story is 100% the same, and even the most riddles are the same. Blood cover repeated. Okay. Put your new sequels and some extra chapters and delve deeper into the story. Huh. I mean, I, was sti I still would like to play it. <laughs> Right? I mean, I played, like, same thing with, like, the Crash remakes and fucking Spyro and stuff. Like, even if it's the same, I would still like to... I would like to have, like, the moment of, of, oh my god, look how beautiful it is. And if it's the same, then we'll just blaze through it, right? It's like, uh, the remakes of Persona on the PSP. Except for Persona 2, 2, because that never came to the U.S. Because nobody wanted to buy Persona 3. I'm not mad. You're mad. Hmm. Guess I will take these. It's body of a female student rotting and decayed. Oh yeah, just saying you can play the sequels without feeling the missing some infos. Oh, really? I mean, I want to... When when I like go down a uh, like a game franchise, I like to play it like the way they released instead of how the story folds out. Same thing with like something like the MCU. When I watch those movies, I watch them in release order. Let's see, I removed the wheel. You know, besides the Hulk, because who fucking cares about Ang Lee's Hulk? Fucking Stanley dying drinking a drinking blood from a soda bottle. <laughs> I removed the wheel from the water pump and threw it into the pool. Hopefully. That'll keep any, anyone from finding the little treasure I left in the spot. What? That bitch killed my friends. She can spend entirety without a tongue for all I care. The remastered version is still a masterpiece. Yeah. Experience like the series. Full release in order. Yeah, I would like the full release order. Go ahead, turn to a fan. Dude, go to fucking turn to a fanboy. Fucking, don't get me started about Persona. I'll fucking, I'll bitch about Persona all day. And even Kingdom Hearts, oh my god. I'll lose it. I love Kingdom Hearts, but I hate it. I hate it so much. And I have to say, that new Kingdom Hearts game, the, the memory one, the, the fucking music one, I swear if anyone pays $60 for that shit, you're part of the problem. <laughs> don't pay $60 for that game. It's crazy. The rhythm, the rhythm aspect of the game isn't even good. <laughs> it's kind of bad, actually. And the soundtracks of Kingdom Hearts aren't that good either. The only... Well, the soundtrack is good, but only the original shit. Not like the Disney stuff that they use. It's kind of terrible. Like, how many people jam out to the fucking Olympus Coliseum theme? 
Think about it. I don't think anybody jams out to that shit. I <laughs> never played either. Oh, man. Oh, man, trust me. I have, uh... It's not on Twitch now because it got deleted, but I do have... Not uploaded yet. I'll definitely upload it this weekend. Um, I started doing Kingdom Hearts 1 on the channel. That was from, like, Thanksgiving. I completely forgot what the hell I'm doing, to be honest. I lost, I lost it for a moment. <laughs> okay, so he said he threw the water pump where? First game spawned countless fan versions. Witch's house. Hmm. Remove the wheel from the water pump, threw it into the pool. Hopefully they can- Okay. Just killed my friend. Okay, so it's somewhere in the pool. Is it like here? Dim lights around reflection on something inside the drainage grate. Try to fish it out. Yep. Okay. Basically every 2D RPG released afterwards. Oh, shit. Huh. Called Quartz Party D2. Cool. Some kind of handle. Require rust valve wheel. Okay. Tell him to turn this water pump. Pump it up. Pump it, pump it. Crew label. Attached water valve. Yep. Love Mad Father. Really? I've heard about it. I've heard, I, what I mean, I heard about it, like, I've seen it once, like, in just the title of it, not even the game. I think it's something like, what, what's the other game that's, that was kind of like that? What was it, like, Big Sister or something? <laughs> as far as I'm, as far as it's gonna go, I think, it's too rusted to turn anymore. Okay, well, we turned that. Fucking go through the doorway. My dog is just staring at me. She's like, motherfucker, you're gonna come and pet me. You cannot escape. It is your destiny. Oh, look at that. That looks beautiful. I want it. You know what I want for a remake? Not, I guess it's kind of a remake. Well, it would be a remake. Just... Someone smack the shit out the Danganronpa team and tell, ask them why they make that VR demo if it's so goddamn good. I played it, it was great. They just need to remake Danganronpa in VR. I'll fucking play the death of that game. I'll die in it. Small hemp, small hemp bag stained with a copious amount of blood. Seems to have fallen in a spigot. Elementary schooler ID name tag is attached to it. Heavenly host, elementary school, class 16, Dakota Suji. The bag appears to contain a severed human tongue. It's a girl's name. How do you know it's a girl's name? I thought there's no gender names in fucking in Japan. What are you talking about? How do you know it's a girl's name? How dare you? You know how many Makotos they are? PC non a version when we make the course mod for cover mobile phones. Okay. Never actually finished, which is why two characters are missing from the character inter introduction. Oh, really? See, I was wondering about that. You go to the introduction, and it's like, wait a minute, what about these other guys? I think Mochita is one of them that's missing. Project Cat. Really? Huh. Damn, like, you write that, and to me, it's like, I would love to play those on my free time. But I think it's better if I just stream them. <laughs> Alright. Hold up, what the hell? Okay, that's the same spirit I've seen before. Let's go. Save said game. I picked up a severed tongue. Need to go find the child that it belongs to. Oh. And my you are two that are missing. Okay. Is that the only thing that wasn't finished? Or is there... Is like the complete... I, I'm assuming at least the complete story is here. Just like extra shit wasn't put in. Stop laughing at me. Stop laughing. Oh! Hey, guys, how's it hanging? Which one do we give it to? You said it was a girl! I don't like how he's walking up to me. He's just walking with all the gusto in the world. I gotta reset them. I gotta reset their positions. Okay. I'm 
I'm hearing a lot of, oh shit. Like, I was reading the fuck, <laughs> I'm reading the chat, had to stop for a minute, and then they started just walking towards me. Alright, reset your position, jackass. I'm gonna give it to the girl. Stop laughing at me. I don't like when you laugh at me. Stop chasing me. You, come over here. Here, it's yours. Take it! Take it! Give it back. Give me back my eye. Your eye? How am I supposed to know who's, whose tongue we got? Pull out the tongue bag? No, you said your eye! Get the hell out of here. Come here. Come here, you. Gurgle, gurgle. <laughs> He's got no head above her chin. How am I supposed to know whose tongue we got? I don't even think you can see it. Can you see it? If I pull it out, can you even see the tongue? You know what? This game on some bullshit. Maybe. Maybe there's like a hidden ghost over here. The game usually does some crazy shit like this. Okay. Of course, part is being remastered for the Nintendo Switch. Oh, shit. When was that announced? Is that another fucking Rune Factory 5 situation? Where it's like, we announced Rune Factory 5, and we'll now talk, even though it's supposed to come out this year, it won't come out till next year. The other one said, give me back my eye. This one didn't say shit. So, there you go. Watch your tongue back? It's just... The little girl's spirit is staggering towards Ayumi, blood gushing from her scabbing cross-section of a head as she walks. Please be the right one. This is yours, isn't it? I'm giving it back. Offer the spirit its tongue. What happened? The other ghost is heading this way. We gotta run. What do you mean we gotta run? Ah! <laughs> you stay away from me. I, I guess I'll run. I'll run this way back towards the candle. It's kind of safe. I love my candle. It's my favorite. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. Missing from the game is man an extra... Oh, okay. It's the extra chapters. Alright. But there... I'm sorry. We just saved it. How many extra chapters are there supposed to be? Because... Oops. No, go back. Go back. How dare you? Because we have... I played this one. We have two left that need to be unlocked. It's announced in Japan only. Man, speaking about fucking Japan only, all that Persona 3 shit that was in Japan only pisses me off royally. It's like, man, there's a prequel game to Persona 3. It was for mobile phones only in Japan. And only one dude that I know of right now, like a year ago, I think it was last year, he's like, I'm trying to get back as much info as as if I can, but since it was deleted off of the off their services or whatever, it's kind of a it's kind of a lost cause. Get out of my ear. <laughs> get out of my ear, dog. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, Pebbles. Go sit. There's nothing wrong with you. What do you want? Oh, so it's like, um, Yamawari. See, I wanted to play, I have Yamawari on the PlayStation 4. Well, I'm not sure if it's only one Yamawari game or if there's multiple. But I had that on the PlayStation 4, and I bought it for Halloween, and I wanted, and I, I did like a poll to see, so people can see what I wanted. I did a poll, so I can see what people wanted me to play, and... They chose other things besides Yamawari, so... Um... Is this motherfucker still chasing me up here? Yeah, you are. Okay, well, just go somewhere. Leave me alone. <laughs> but I remember buying Yamawari, and I'm like, this is a nice little... Oh, hey! Come here. Come here, evil child. There we go again. Ah, shit. Here we go again. What the hell is gonna take us this time? I don't know. What the hell are you doing? My dog is 
<laughs> laying on top of my remote. My TV's going stupid right now. Where's your, um, where your friends was, wait, what? Where your friends were splattered. Okay. The doll saying that. Floorboards beneath that wall. Oh. Right under her goopy entrails. Her goo. <laughs> oh, damn it. Where the floor dips and the blood pools. Drip drop. Drip drop. Smelly smelly. Icky icky. Get in there good and dig it out. I'm I'm tempted to do the laugh, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> no. Yeah, see, you're, you're crazy. <sighs> you getting a good laugh out of this, you sick son of a bitch? God, if there was, uh, if, that, if that's where it is, I couldn't read that for some reason. I'm not sure we can even bring ourselves to get it. Man, you guys are a bunch of pussies. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I gotta say it. Like, I understand. Oh, no. He's gonna do it. Oh, no. By the way, how the fuck did you get here? It's your camera. It's your phone. You're doing some weird shit with your phone. You're traveling through time space. Kishinuma and the class rep, too. I'm very glad to see both of you are sound. Hmm, what's happened? It's a long story, so where have you been? I was in the second wing until a short while ago, but suddenly lost consciousness. And when I woke up here, it felt as if the air had somehow changed. Lion ass. Oh yes, and I did briefly cross paths with Moshida and his sister. Then after the PSP version, there's another remaster of Repeated Fear for the Nintendo DS. It's basically the same. It has some more extra chapters. Okay. Damn, how many, how many, how many versions of the, of the first game is there? Holy shit. <laughs> they are, though when I, when I next ran into Moshida's sister, it seems she and her brother had parted ways. Ah, uh, Moshigi, you know what this reminds me of? It's like, <sighs> hold up, let me just finish reading this, then I'll get to what I'm saying. Is, uh, what's that in your hand? Ah, oh, you mean the doll? Crispy grasping a blood-soaked pouch in his hands. Oh, on this? I found it under the floorboards in the hallway. Just up these stairs. Some kind of charm. You want it? Please take it. I merely search for a certain someone, so I have no need for charms as a pres at, pres uh, at the present time. Uh, as with the others, has an ID name tag attached to it. Emily Host Elementary School in class, Yuki Kano. Well, I should be going now. Is something wrong, class rep? You look like you've seen a ghost. Ah, uh, yes, one more thing. What you just said we should all try to meet in class 1A. Uh, okay. Man, you, yeah, everyone makes fun of the nerdy kid until he does some sick shit, and even the fucking delinquent's like, oh, no, I'm not fucking with that. That guy, no, he's on a next level. He's on a different wave pattern. That guy's moving different. He's moving goofy. It wasn't from, you know, Suzumoto's spot. Maybe a shift over a few feet, and he got it from there? I mean, if he didn't, then... Really freaked me out. Did you see his hands? They were covered in blood. Uh-huh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay. Let me... Let me run to the room and save the game first, so I can read all that. <laughs> Two sequels, Book of Shadows and Blood Drive. Both available on Steam. Oh, that's cool. And there's a spinoff. Birthday Bash. Oh, is that the one when they go to the fucking... Is Birthday Bash the one that I heard where apparently they go to the fucking beach or some shit? And there's an unfinished game called Corpse Party 2 Dead Patient, which has the first chapter released. Oh. They release it in chapters. They release in chapter where? On like... Is that like Japan only or something? Or is that on Steam too? Because I know... I, I assume... 
No, I think it's the remake. I think the remake is the one that's on the DS that you were talking about. Yeah, now that I think about it. Wasn't there a 3DS one? Let me guess, they still don't want to go this way? Yeah, okay, that's cool. Uh, don't go to the beach, but it has, like, a birthday party. Okay. I heard something. Oh, well, I don't know. I heard it's from an outside source. That there's something with Course Party where they just chill out at the beach or some shit. I don't know. Oh, it's just a normal DS game? Oh, okay. Give it back. The girl's missing an eye. Oh, we got it. We got a tongue. Is that gonna be enough? <laughs> you know what's really funny? I can barely hear the fucking notification, but I heard it. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. I'll see you later, man. I'll I'll try to um I'll probably be playing this again next week if I have time. I'll see if I can throw it in the schedule. Pull out the tongue bag? I don't think the tongue bag will work. She wants her eye, not her. The girl lowers her head and begins rocking slowly back and forth. Yuki Kano? This is for you. It's yours, isn't it? Offer the spirit the tongue. Ah, uh, you. Thank you very much. Oh. Why the fuck? What? What do you mean, give you. Wait, why are you asking for an eye? What the hell? What? We did it. <laughs> Shinozaki, all three of them. All that's left is the girl in red. No more. Every time I talk to these ghosts, I feel like I'm getting closer and closer to death myself. I mean, you've been possessed, like. You've been possessed, grabbed up. I don't know what the hell you've been doing. Do you have any idea what it's like? I keep picturing how I look when I'm dead, and I'm not even trying. It just pops into my head all on its own. It's such a horrible image. I want to go home. I just want to go home. Back to my mom. Back to my sister. And Mochita. Damn, girl, that's crazy. Shinozaki. Alright, next one's mine then, okay? So just try to pull yourself to get... Uh, what's going on? God damn it, not again. This one's big too. What the hell? Okay. The evil ghost is mad. What happened? <laughs> Was I knocked out? Where am I? What? No way! Huh? Is this our classroom? For real? There's no way. I thought we had to save the chant to get out. Yo, Shinozaki, you good? Hey, wake up. She's breathing at least. My dog is currently crying in my in my ear. I think I I think she wants to go outside. Come on, wake up already. Give me a moment, doggo. Kishinuma. After this cutscene, I shall take you outside. What? Take a look around. I can hardly believe it myself, but we're here. No way. We're back, for real? It's really our school? I highly doubt that. The only way I think this would be possible is that whoever was in control probably didn't like what we were doing. Check it out, here's my desk. Mine too, it's right here. I can't believe it. So it's true. Yeah, we made it. We're home. Fuck yeah! Suck on that, world!
My man said, fuck yeah. <laughs> He's like, we did it. I'm Rich Shinozaki. I never thought I'd live, I'd live to see home again. I highly doubt this is home. I guess there's no Satoshi or Miss Yui or anyone else. Hmm. Okay. Entering out in search of others, you find that even the janitor has likely gone home. Lights are out and the halls are pitch black. Only the red glow of the light next to the fire extinguisher offers any res uh, respite. Respite? Respite? Fuck. I know that word, but I can't say it. From the quaint, from the quaint quiet darkness of the school hallways. Standing around in the darkened corridors of our school building at 8 at eight o'clock in the evening just feels so surreal. As the thunder and rain grow in intensity, the windows begin to concentrate with the concentrate. Uh, con. Oh. Con. Fuck. <laughs> I can't even say the word. Con. con fuck, man. My, my tongue won't do it. With moisture turning white in, con in contrast of the corridor's sea of black. We're not home. There's no way we're home. Is this reality? Was everything up until now just a dream? Where am I right now? And what am I doing? What's happening? Shinozaki, what's wrong? You're being attacked, aren't you? Oh, it's seeping into the real world! What the hell is this? No, oh, it's over, isn't it? Oh, I heard another follow. Thank you! <laughs> I can barely hear the follow notification. I'm not sure how loud it is for you guys, but thank you. <laughs> Damn it. It's you. No. Go back. Don't come any closer. Uh... It was a rainy evening after school, just like this one. On the day I was kidnapped. I remember I had a fight with my mom that morning. Why is she telling us this? I have no idea. Because we're dead! I didn't want to see her face. So after school, I decided that instead of going home, I'd park myself in the outdoor walkway for a little and watch the rain. That's when Mr. Yoshi fuck Yoshizaku showed up. Zaku? Why what that why no? Yoshikazu. Yoshikazu? Fuck. How do you damn it. Whatever, that's when Yoshi showed up. He was all like, Yoshi! And then fucking he spat an egg at me. He sat down next to me. I told him all about my fight with my mom and he listened really closely and just kept saying, Uh-huh, uh-huh. He was sick and couldn't speak much, but he was a very kind man. I really liked him. But then... Uh... You two. I'm so sorry. She's so tiny. She must be a fifth grader. Yuki Kano, right? Thank you for what you did back there. You're making the effort to help those of us who, who were killed in that school. Didn't we succeed, though? Why are you still here? You didn't. But we returned your tongue. We gave you back the ability to tell your story. We even got your murderer to repent for what he did. Is that just... that you can't forgive him no matter what? Appeasing us isn't about forgiveness. It doesn't matter if we forgive or not. Repentance is between the criminal and the victim. It's the sole act of... sole act capable of moving us. And we exist as fragments of the sacred ground upon which Heavenly Host is sealed. I believe that moving us is your best course of action. Moving you? But it's not enough. His repentance just wasn't enough? What? So you're saying his words, the words spoken by the doll, were good enough to appease you. That's not... Hmm... So what then? Why do you feel the need to trap 
to trap one innocent stranger after another in the godforsaken place. You child spirits are the ones who summon us there, aren't you? That's not true. The hell do you mean by that? We're just the cogs that hold the closed spaces together. But you killed Suzumoto, didn't you? Wait, don't anger the ghost. Huh? Let's hear her out. I'm just glad I was able to, to get even the two of you back to safety. Why the hell are you suddenly so concerned about us? I heard about the situation like this from my sister once. A lost soul whose life was ended violently and, abrupt and abruptly, leaving her with a, with a mountain of worries and regrets. It's kind of like stopping short of the edge of madness. With all sorts of thoughts and feelings swirling around in your head, your kindly nature and your sudden hatred and panic began to spun around and around, and you just started acting out without any sort of control. Your sister's some kind of medium or something? Yeah, something like that. So, what are you saying is, this little girl and the creepy little girl we met before are two sides of the same coin? I feel for you. I really do. So please, please bring back the rest of them. Mochita, Mishishito, and everyone else too. Bring them all back. Come on, you can do it, right? I don't think that's possible anymore. Why not? Those closed spaces have eaten a lot of innocent souls, far too many in fact. The grudges of those who died there have filled every last corner of them. There's no room left. And because the agony and pain has nowhere else to go, is it seeping in our world? The gun feeding on the minds of the souls like us who are bound to there. What? It won't be long before I turn back into a vengeful spirit who attacks people like you without mercy. Huh? So we're going to lose you as an ally then? So why don't you just hurry up and bring them back right now? Isn't there any way for us to save Mochita and the others? There may be one way. What is it? I think you already know. You have to return to the closed spaces. Find all four of the Heavenly Host serial kidna uh, kidnapping and murder victims. And put us all the rest. Then the closed spaces won't have their cogs anymore. So they should begin to fade from existence. And you just might get your friends back. You expect us to go back? And this time, instead of just having one person left to appease, we have to go back and draw on the board and appease all four of you? Why? Why couldn't you tell us the reason our previous efforts weren't good enough? What is there to hide? It's just... Something I don't want to remember, but... If you really want to know, I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything that happened. Yuki Spirit gently took hold of Ayami's hand. In the instant, the two beings seemed to merge together into a single mind. How many times has she been possessed and touched by ghosts? Seriously. Shinozaki. Oh. Yeah. Huh. Huh? What happened to me? Didn't I pass out? So why am I fully aware right now? I can't see anything and I can't move. Oh my god, is she living her experience? Are you kidding me? It's like the feeling when you get really tired. Sleep paralysis, I think. God, I hate sleep paralysis. Ugh. Yep, you're living her experience. And where? Why can't I move? Sachi so goes to... Uh... <clears throat> Chajiko Shinozaki, the little girl in the red dress, and only survivor of the horrific murders that occurred in Heavenly Host Elementary School. Following the incident, Sachiko's family fled from the area, moving together, uh, moving, moving to another prefecture to escape the fruitful, fruitful, the frightful memories that remained here. Strangely, however, I've been unable to locate any other records of Shinozaki's family. No matter where I look, the only information I can find about them comes from newspaper reports on the Heavenly Host murders. Granted, 
When the element when elementary school became the stage for a grisly incident such as this, perpetrated by none other than the principal's own son, it stands to reason that the scoundrel would serve as the primary focus of public interest, with all other details fading into the background. So of course, after learning that Sachiko was safe, further news of her whereabouts was largely ignored in favor of the meteor circus around the school. But there's more to it than that. People weren't just un uninterested in learning that Sachiko's histories were whereabouts. There was simply no data to be had. What? Like she didn't exist? I can only move my body because of sleep paralysis, I guess. Oh, I can't. I can't move my body. Not can. But I can clearly see the room I'm in now. There's one boy and two girls in here, aside from myself. I recognize them. They're the children who were killed in heavily high... Heavily... Fuck! <laughs> my dog is crying in my ear. Uh, children who were killed in heavily host during the incident, but they're all still alive. Unfortunately, they're all bound, hand and foot, and just sprawled out on the floor, and so am I. And that's the real reason I can't move. What the hell? Somebody please save me! Oh. No, stop. No! Oh, shit. No, I'm blindfolded. I can't see a thing that's happening to me. And since my hands and feet are tied up, I can't move the blindfold either. It just makes everything so much worse. I guess because I can't see, I began to listen more intensely. Wow. The helpless cries of the other children echo off the walls of a cramped room. I'm so scared, it feels like my head's going to explode. What are you doing to me? Why am I blindfolded? Untie me. Cut the ropes. I want to be able to use my hands and feet, please. Please. I kept begging and pleading, but all I heard in response was the man walking away from me. In or d what? What? In order. Shit. What? I never heard screaming like this before. It's pure, primal terror cutting through the air like a perfect sin. Like perfect scene wave. Scene wave? Sine wave? What the hell? I don't even know what that word is. It's the boy at the end. Feels like he's been screaming for an eternity. I think he's being killed right now. My god, what the hell is he doing to him? No one deserves this. Why isn't God... Why isn't God allowing him to fall unconscious so he doesn't have to suffer. It's been at least half an hour now. Those are human screams of a young boy being ripped apart from the inside. I finally come to a halt. Without even a single moment of silence, the first of the girls in the line is the next to scream for her life, and the symphony goes on. God, I can't take any more of this. I'm losing my mind. Stop it. Damn. He's still going on. Come on, just die already. Die already. God, what's wrong with me? You know what? I don't care. Just get it over with and leave me in peace. Finally, after hearing the sound like a heavy object being dropped, the noise stopped, and the room grew quiet again. Those footsteps are getting closer. All my hair is standing at the end at this point. Everything, blew my, everything below my stomach feels like it's been frozen. Like I've suddenly been struck with severe diarrhea. 
in order. God, why am I relieved by the silence? Which means it's my turn now. Someone's got me by the hair. They're pulling my head up. They're taking off my blindfold, which means I get to see the face of my killer. The four missing children were found in the basement room at Heavenly Host Elementary School. Unused and officially sealed since the... Wait, what? <clears throat> in the basement room at Heavenly Host Elementary School, unused and officially sealed since the building's construction. When authorities entered, they were greeted with an inhumane, horrific sight. Based on the evidence at hand, the murder weapon was determined to be a pair of large sewing scissors found in the hands of the accused. Investigators suspected some hesitation on the man's part. However, as the deceased victim's wounds did not, did not indicate that his full strength had been used. Nonetheless, he had clearly acted with extreme malice intent. The official cause of death for the three murdered children has been listed as loss of blood flowing removal from the tongue. What? By the actual state of affairs was not, but the actual state of affairs were not quite, uh, when I, ah, uh, fuck, I can't read, <laughs> was not quite so clinical, nor even so pleasant, if you can believe it. The following details have been ex, ex, fuck, extro, extrobolated, fuck, that's such a hard word for me to say. For information uh, previously unreleased to the public, or at least previously unreported by news outlets. These details of the crime are based on the official police testimony of Sachiko Shinozaki herself. Incidentally, the victims were bound, blindfolded, and spaced out on the floor. Then killed, one by one. One was reported stabbed in the abdomen with a... With un... Wow, with... <coughs> I'm getting choked up here. One was repeatedly stabbed in the abdomen with unferm... Unfermented... Unferm... What? <laughs> unfermented pair of scissors... Is that even the word I'm looking for? A fermented? A pair of scissors, then had many of his internal organs forcefully dug out. His discarded innards were found partially buried beneath the beneath the earthen floor of the basement room. Another was stabbed in the head dozens upon dozens of times, to such an extent that all flesh and bone above her jawline was exceedingly mice was ex Ah! Damn! so much I can't handle it with my blindfold removed the sight that appeared before me was more horrific than anything I could have possibly imagined the person staring back at me brandished the blood soaked pair of sewing scissors was the large man from earlier wasn't the large man from earlier was it the principal it was one of the children wait what it was a little girl her face dyed red with the blood of her victims uh She was staring intently at me with soulless gray eyes and then she just started giggling. Uh. What the fuck? She was opening and closing the bloody the blood and the bloodied scissors over and over. The sounds kept echoing through the room. Then she took those dull rusty Early blood soaked blades and slowly brought them closer and closer to my left eye. Uh, how? Why? Why is it you? <laughs> the third victim was stabbed in the left eye and. and <laughs> wow an indetermined number of times, until her eyeball became soup-like in consistency. She was eventually just left like that, slowly bleeding to death in horrible agony. Strangely, it was only after these mutilations had already been inflicted that the killer went back and served the victim's and severed the victim's tongues. Learning the truth that these proceedings is shocking even to me it makes it clearly impossible to accept the murderer as anything but a monster. I'm bearing witness to every moment of of this <laughs> I'm bearing witness to every moment of this was a seven year old girl named Sachiko. In many ways, she's the most pitiable and long suffered of them all. But it was through her tearful, frightening testimony that the teacher was officially charged. Now going back to the hunt for information on the unfortunate girl's whereabouts, it was her 
words that ultimate wow it was her words that ultimately led to the teacher's sentencing therefore it comes as no real surprise that sensitive information pertaining to her and her family would be withheld that is to be expected what's not expected however is that there's not even the slightest trace of this information left to find it's as if it simply never existed therefore i cannot help but consider alternate possible explanations and i remind you this is mere conjecture but one question keeps nagging at the back of my mind. Was the teacher really the murderer of the three victims? It's possible this crime was not actually perpetrated by him at all. Think about it. In his final days, the teacher was incapable of communication with others through speech. And despite his childlike reservation, he always been a personable and friendly man. As the saying goes, he wouldn't have hurt a fly. All his relatives, friends, and neighbors confirmed as much. Shocked to hear that such a kindly man could, could commit these unsociable atrocities. He certainly had no motive for the crime, neither there was nothing for him to gain from it. Then again, he may simply have lost his mind. Look at his father. It was around this time that the principal suddenly began speaking, suddenly began speaking in tongues and acting in the most peculiar way. Not to mention scribbling incomprehensible gibberish all over the walls as if he's possessed. He seemed frightened of someone and would have often been found crouching in the corner of his office moaning and thrashing when visitors came by. If he would wind up in such a belligerent, belligerent, yeah that's the word, belligerent state with no warning, then perhaps so too could his son. I believe that's where looking at the curse far more powerful than any man could, could devise. What? From the time I opened, from time it opened its doors to the day it closed them forever. Heavenly Host Elementary School sealed basement room was existed, was exist what has existed, as some form of cursed grounds. And to find the underlying cause, we must go back beyond the infamous kidnapping and murder incident. Back a whole twenty years. I believe I may have found a clue that could shed some light on the situation. It may be a bit far-fetched, as leads go, but it's a lead nonetheless. Regrettably, since Heavenly Host was not only closed down, but demolished altogether, and another school built in its place, it's no longer possible to investigate the basement room directly. But my 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 prodigy has found wow my prodigy has found what may be the next best thing. Something that can make the impossible possible once more. Preparations are being made to pursue this lead even now. Be sure not to miss the next installment. It may be the scoop of a lifetime. Uh? Huh? Continue in chapter 5. What the hell? Okay. So, so my bad. I didn't. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> there we go. So, the the girl in the red dress is the murderer. But for, for what reason, though? Something that happened years before that. What the hell? Some crazy shit going on. Crazy shit going on, man. Where did my dog go? She gave up. She started whining in my ear. She she walked away. Where is she? There she is. She's laying on top of my on top of my jacket right now. Damn. That is a that's a lot of reading, a lot of story, a lot of just everything going on. Damn it. That's so much. That's so much. That's too much. That's a lot. Oh. Jeez, I really want to continue this right now. I really do. Can I, can I skip this? No, I don't think so. Fuck. Alright. Did we unlock any extras? Insert song, Requiem of a Dream. That's cool. That's a nice name for that. 
Team Grizz Grizz. Make it go, Grizz Grizz. Damn. The Provincial Movin. Provital Movin. So we didn't unlock anything for extra. Now I'm assuming that's because I didn't really try and search for too many things. Fuck. Victims. What's the victims we have? Uh, that's, a, that's a lot of names. How many schools are there? Oh god. There's so many. Okay. Damn. And what's weird is that each chapter has so many fucking... Chapter 1, three endings. Chapter 2, five. Chapter 3, five. Then we got fucking six. And then how many endings is this? <laughs> Damn. Okay. But as long as we have the first star, I assume that's the canon ending. But, um... Shit, man. I really... I really want to keep playing this right now. I'm not gonna lie, but I don't, I don't have time to. <laughs> I don't have enough time to keep playing this. Jesus. Okay, so, unfortunately, this is where I'm gonna have to end the stream, even though I don't want to. Damn. All right. So I'm gonna end the stream here. Uh, but before that, a couple of things I have to say. One is that. Well, as always, for the next two nights, there won't be any streams. But also... But also, um... Fuck, why am, I, why am I blanking here? Also, next week, I might be starting a new job. So, unfortunately, I'm not sure how the scheduling of that will work out because I do work overnight, and over, you know, nighttime is when I usually stream. Uh, so I'll try and see how I can work that out. But as of right now, as of right now, let's say everything's the same. Right? Let's do that. And then, and then hopefully, hopefully we'll come back. Well, first of all, Sunday night, definitely, is it Sunday night? Let me think. Okay, Sunday night, we're definitely coming back for that. I know I'm free for Sunday night. So, either it will be... What, what is fucking next week, actually? So, it will either be between More Corpse Party, Phoenix Wright, or Batman. Because I would like to, you know... First of all, I'm going to look into the... I still have to look into the Steam version of Batman, but I'm... From what I heard, Origins on Steam is pretty good. And then... Yeah, so that's it. And then the days after that, I'm, I'm still unsure. So, I'll, I'll see what I can do for those nights, but just kind of keeping in mind that in the upcoming weeks, I'm going to be transitioning to a new job, a lot of things are going to be getting shipped over, maybe stream time will get shipped over, who knows. But, until then, until we get more information, that's all I have on that right now. As of for the channel, I'm going to try and see if I can get some more playthroughs done on that. Like, like I said last stream, the Spider-Man playthrough for Miles Morales is all the way up. You can watch that if you want. Unfortunately, though, for some reason, when I record that, it came out kind of blurry. So, it's still watchable, but it's it's not going to look as good as it should, sadly. Which really sucks, because, because it, has, it has both the PS4 Pro gameplay and the PS5 gameplay. But, um, I'm going to... I'm going to try and look into, like, a better capture card so I don't run into that problem no more. But that is it for now. Corpse Party is going to be done for now. So, I, I definitely am going to be finishing this sometime next... Well, I can't say sometime next week. But if I do have time next week, sometime next week, you can definitely expect this to be finished. Um, other than that, for those watching on Twitch... Thank you very much. Thank you for watching live. I like chatting with you guys. For those watching the VOD, uh, thank you so much. The support is great, gratefully appreciated. And for those watching on YouTube, try and consider coming and watching on, on Twitch. Okay, I would I would like to chat with all of you live as much as as much as you that I can possibly chat with without 
you know, without losing my mind. Um, and that is it for YouTube. If you're watching this and you're not subscribed, please think about it. Uh, if you are subscribed, click the notification bell, as always. And I'm really trying to f remember. Is there anything else I need to say? I didn't mean to click off on that. I think that's it for now. So, as always, I want to say thank you to everyone for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care.